we start the recording. Hello everyone, and welcome to Six Ages Ride Like the Wind. However, this is actually called the Council of the Beard. Uh, it is something that I do with some games sometimes. Uh, and... Sorry, we need the music in there. Oh, although I need to do that, and then that, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's where we play a game and chat gets involved with a lot of the choices and, and everything. So, that's what we're going to do. Hello chat, how are you doing? Are you ready to make a new tribe? Basically, the way I figure we'll do this is, this time we'll make a new tribe. Because if you've watched the video, or if you've... Uh, hey, Shadow. Hey, Mark. Uh, if you've... If you've watched the... If you've watched the, the previous video, or you were there for the stream, I think you guys have probably figured out a little bit of the... Yeah, we're just beginning. Uh, I think you guys probably figured out uh, the basics of the game, so you have an idea of what to do and, and everything. So, play. We will, so lights out, lights going out, world reborn. These are coming next, coming later. You know, we'll, we'll do those when they, when they turn up. For now, we will start a new game. Your story begins not long after the gods made people. The Golden Age was a time of harmony ruled by the go sun god Yelm and his appointees. Your clan traces its ancestries back to that those times. Which of the gods did they favour? Emperor Yelm, shining above the Golden Empire, or Nialda, the great Earth Mother whose bounty made sure no one was ever hungry? Here we go guys, we're starting one or two. Is Earth Mother just fields? Not really. So we've got quite a few people with Nialda. We've got one, two, three. Oh, no, we've got four ones. Uh, four twos, four ones. Five twos, five ones. Six ones, five twos. Would anyone else like an input before we choose Emperor Yelm? Shining above the Golden Empire. Last time I do think we went with Nialda. And then we went for Cows uh, after that. Which I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I don't think it was Nialda. Well, we're going for Emperor Yelm then. We built a shrine to the sun. Later, we made sure to have one wherever we moved. The Golden Age ended when the Storm God, Umath, forced his way into the world through a floor in the Sky Dome. Constantly moving and violent, he rebelled against Yelm. Yelm's celestial sons responded, sending Umath crashing to his death in the far north. Other gods fought as well. As instability spread, humans became more dependent for survival on the gods. In turn, humans helped the gods. Which fame and ev famous event of the gods did your ancestors support? Yeah, so last time we went with Busanari, the milk, the milk gift of the cow mother. Uh, we have uh, Battle of Akashar, when Shining Yelm El Elmal sent saw through the stratagems of the Changer. Seventeen Banner Camp, when Wise Rolandar advised Corlavus how to ally the Bird Riders. When Busieran engraved the first lead ledger tracking the planets in motion. When Orissa first sang the bone mending ballad for Keskor Breng. The grain contest of Aconus, where the barley goddess Pella prevailed over the Miller and Beazel. The Brass Bazaar, where Ekana acted as broker between Nida Mountain and Gennert's Garden. Uh, when Weris Murr joined us as citizens. Okay, so let's have a look. Has anyone voted yet? Okay, so we've got one seven. One three, another seven, another three. So we've got sevens and threes. So uh, allying with the bird riders or the brass bazaar so far is. So we've got three threes and two sevens. Dwarves that ride burbs. Keep in mind, they aren't dwarves. Just FYI. 
Not necessarily. Okay, everyone wants threes. Everyone's going for threes. So, we're dwarves. You say you're dwarves. It doesn't make you dwarves. Don't try to change us. This is a different tribe, man. Different tribe. You are dwarves last time because it just worked out that way. They are already dwarves. They're assholes. Just because you wanted to go with the Earth Mother. Uh, so, 17 Banner Camp, when wise Rolandar advised Corlavus how to ally the Bird Riders. Okay. We'll go with that. Ever since, men and women of our clan have been noted for diplomacy. I... It doesn't sound like the chat that I know. I don't know why you guys chose the diplomacy one, but okay. Umath's son, Orlanth, led a conspiracy of rebel gods against Emperor Yelm. Armed with the new power of death, he slew Yelm, sending his light to the underworld. When the sun fell from the sky, the empire fell apart. Smaller suns lit the world in Yelm's place. Darkness and sea gods became a threat, but the storm god Orlanth and his violent allies dominated. What was the worst danger your ancestors faced at the time? Trolls fled the underworld to the surface darkness. Always hungry, they tried to devour the herds. A great flood drowned the empire. We helped Anaxiel, the sailor, build a great ship to save civilization. The war of many suns, when the pretenders to the solar throne fought to assert control over our golden city, Nivera. The Ram people marched on the empire, raising the city of Alempur. We helped the emperor avenge it. When the city of Chimes wanted to surrender to the Scorpion Queen, we gave them heart, or six. Our worst danger came later. So we've got two sixes so far. A three, okay. So we've got worst danger came later, or the war of many sons. There's a one, trolls. Uh, so that's three, four sixes, three, five, threes. The Sun War, whatever that was. That was three. Yeah. Okay, we've got quite a few threes. Quite a, few, quite a lot of people wanting to take part in the War of Many Suns. Twitter escaped hell and infected the internet. One. Trolls fled the underworld. <laughs> Elb, you already voted one. If you do it twice, I might accidentally think you voted. I might think you're like two different people. Uh, okay, well, it looks like we're going with the War of Many Suns. When pretenders to the Solar Throne... Okay, let's do it. After the sun died and the Empire fell, we remained true to his son Elmal, and prevailed against the False Suns. Since then, we fought cities of Darahapa, particularly warlike Alkoth. Wait, we can stack the vote by relying on Sheepy's poor perception skills? Excellent. No, I noticed, Courier. I noticed. I know, I won't vote twice was badly forcing a joke through. I would have noticed. Um, yeah, I, I know you weren't voting twice. I was just... Uh, many more gods died as the gods' war worsened. Hialor, H Hialor of Nivera founded, found the crippled spirit who had once been the winged-fanged Hippogriff. He saved her from death and made an alliance. Hyalor gave her a new name, Gamari, and she allowed him to ride. Hyalor returned to your ancestors with this secret. They became the first riders. Storm and Cold continued their conquests. Orlanth's barbaric worshippers sacked Elempor, the Darhapan Empire's southernmost city. A great sheet of ice crushed the city of Virapur, despite its volcano gods. It ground relentlessly south. The Emperor began building an immense dome to hide under. Rather than cower inside, the citizens of Nivera chose to move away from the glacier. Your ancestors had trained horses to ride. Others drove chariots. Everyone had to leave many of their gods behind. Which god did you bring? Busarian, god of writing, Tepecos, god of smiths, Narva, god of brewing, Perondetto, god of glassmaking, or Nocelli, 
goddess of the red dye insect. Keep in mind we did do uh, Narva goddess of brewing before. God of Smiths is just craft making, yeah? I think so. I think, yeah. So we got a couple of threes, because of course we do. A couple of fives, a couple of twos. So God of Smiths or Goddess of the Red Dye. I'd prefer not to get brewing, because we went that last time. I'd say one to go with that accidental diplomacy. <laughs> oh, did you guys accidentally vote diplomacy? So we've got uh, three twos, three threes... Three fives. Two fives? We say bird riders, cheapy. Yeah, we wanted hippogriffs. Bird riders. Four twos? Uh, one, two. Yeah, four twos. That's correct. So twos are currently winning the God of Smiths to Pecos. And a one. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Courier. Okay, I'm changing to two. Okay, try it. That's five twos. I mean, if you have smiths, you can make stirrups for your birds that you apparently think you're riding, which you're not riding. But you could be riding, but you're not. In game or in law? <laughs> uh, in in law, I guess. I don't think you can do it in game. Are we really just riding goats? Hey, don't 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 denigrate riding goats. That's one of my regiments. Uh, okay, it's Pecos, king got uh, got king, god of smiths. Afterwards, our clan became renowned for bronze working, which is quite cool. I think that's cool. Uh, so we're diplomats who make weapons of war. Okay, it's it's fine. It's it's cool. We could just. We could just make bronze pens with which to sign peace treaties, right? Spear bird riders? Where are you guys getting this law from? There was no bird riding. <laughs> There's no flying anything. Uh, the citizens of Nivera loaded their possessions and headed in the four directions. Your ancestors headed south. They had to fight plant folk, stone folk, ram people and trolls. They prevailed and prospered until there was not enough room for all of them. They divided into four groups. One remained, one others. the others went west, south, and east. Which group was your ancestors? The one the most warlike, two the best herders, three the wealthiest, four the best magicians, five the most dissatisfied. We apparently already have two ones, so the most warlike is currently winning. Four ones, okay. I see a three and a, and a couple of twos. Okay, so we've got three twos and one three and a five. We've got we've got four twos. Got three twos, five ones. So the what? Okay, so we're the best diplomats and the most warlike. Okay. All right. We shall steal the pens needed to herd them. We need to kill the enemy to make more space for the birds. There are no birds! I don't know where these birds have come from. Okay, we're, we're bird riders. We're also the most warlike because the most votes went to one. So, there you go. Our ancestors were always respected in battle with our birds. What are you, Sheepy? Some kind of bird hater. I mean, look at this picture. This is a picture of our people. Do you see any birds? Like, if we don't even we don't even have normal birds, let alone riding birds. You guys are crazy. No birds? Who do we sleep with? Why would you sleep with birds? Okay, anyway. Respected in battle. This council has got out of control. Bird rider has war if you do not have coin. Your ancestors crossed the mountain to the south. Who did they find on the other side? One, farmers. Two, goat herders. Three, hunters and gatherers. Uh, 
Last time we were hella herders. We had a, like a massive herd. One, we farm birds. Wouldn't that be... Oh, it wouldn't be goat herders. It's got three ones and a three. Oh, no. Uh, four ones and a three. Wow, lots of farming this time. And we killed them all with bronze pens. You killed all the farmers with bronze pens? All right. Wait, what the council was in control when? That's true. That's true. Okay, it looks like we're going with ones. Ones, yes. We found farmers on the other side. Once our ancestors might have taken outsiders as slaves, but those days were past. How did you treat the farmers? One, we chased them away. Two, we took them in as half-citizens. Three, we took them in as citizens. There is no option to kill them. It's the first thing that someone in the council said. We killed them. Got a couple of threes, couple of twos, couple of ones. Three twos, four twos, three threes, five twos, four threes, five twos, four threes. We also got three ones. Uh, oh god, my brain's gone like that. Okay, so... Uh, we have currently... Three ones... And then one, two, three, four, five threes... One, two, three, four, five twos. I, I, I need a, I need a, a stalemate breaker. If anyone hasn't voted yet, it's a tie between half citizens and citizens. Courier changing to three from. Uh, okay, dizzy changing. Okay, so we're taking them in as citizens. All right, couple of betrayals right there. Although courier said one, chase them away. Courier's like. Korea's like, if we can't chase them away, then let's just take them in as full citizens. Changing to three. Wow, everyone was like, ha, ah, yes, half, no. Chase them away, half citizens? No, we took them in as citizens. Do mods vote count as multiple? No. Oh, sounds easy. <laughs> uh, the farmers shared secrets of Pella, the goddess of the land, with the clan. Your ancestors prospered, dividing into new clans several times. The charioteers also grew and moved into your valley. They said the ice was on the move and made war on you. Finally, you took what you could and again headed south, over the mountains to a wide valley. Your scouts reported that the best pastures were already taken, but found land around the back right bank of an untamed river. Life here would start out, one, easier than last time, two, about the same as our last migration, three, harder since we have had fewer resources and fewer friends. Four, must much harsher, almost as if the entire world is opposed against us. Oh, some people want it easy. Interesting. We weren't at the part where it gets harder. Yeah, no. We, we, we hadn't got to the hard part of the game. Like where, it, you know, that was just like the early days. So we've got, uh, oh god, um, one, two, three, four, five ones, one, two, three twos, one, two, three, four threes. So currently, we're going for easier than last time. Currently, we're going for one. Oh god, how good is these? Thank you! Oh, God! Uh, and I'm back for the council. Two. Okay. So, uh, the ones are still winning. It will be easier than last time. Which isn't a terrible thing. I'll say that. Be gone, snot. <laughs> Nobody voting for? Thank God. We'll get fucking destroyed. Okay. Well, we'll go with one for now. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll all, uh, I'm planning on doing more of these. So if we die or if it's way too easy or something, you can always we can always have it differently next time. 
you took advantage of a mild storm season to petition the gods for blessings and build a shrine to help feed the clan. You will need to grow your magical knowledge and shrines to produce enough food. Betray the cause of one. Can you name the council peeps, uh, by the way? What, uh, what do you mean? Uh, like the, the council members at the bottom? I don't believe so. Uh, clan name. Hmm. What should we call our clan? Yep, 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 yep. I, I was already there. I was, or, I was already there, Korea. I, I knew that you guys are going to be like bird riders. Call them the bird riders. Fucking birds. What is it with you guys are birds? Jesus. There are no birds here. Except for this guy kind of looks like a bird a little bit. Okay. Pastures magic will help our livestock, including the cattle and goats that feed us. Can't produce enough food without help allocate magic to fields since they produce the bulk of our food. Prepare setting up new shrines in our land to devote magic to ritual. Often it's better to concentrate our magic in a few areas. Of course, all the rituals are useful. Uh, we have not had a chance to finish clearing land, so we should use field rituals. Make sure we grow enough barley. Need to renew our knowledge, allocate magic to rituals so we can then sacrifice for mysteries. We should plan to build a shrine to the Earth Mother this coming year. Okay, so I'm going to go fields and I wonder how much exploring will do. I will allocate the magic because it's a bit too hard for me to put it to you guys. I'm going to assume that you're not going to declare loads of war and like raid and stuff. So I'll put it in crafts, exploring, ritual, and we'll leave it like that for now. We'll save four magic in reserve. So I've got some in fields for food, some in crafts for mu for like goods, uh, some in exploring, some in ritual in case you guys want to kind of uh, sacrifice for mysteries and stuff like that. Uh, harmony? You want harmony? Uh, a bit too warlike for harmony for now. I'll see how you guys go with what you do this time. And I think forum reserve is good. <laughs> okay. So, uh, everyone. Let's just take a look at what we've got. Our houses are unfinished. We have limited pastures, limited fields, a fo food yield shortfall. That's everything. Uh, we have a shrine to El Mal that gives reduced wounds in battle. We also have a shrine to Anilla, which helps foragers gather more food. Well, that's really good. Okay. I don't know how or when we got that. Uh, our spirits, we have the Heron Spirit. Uh, brings in food, except in dark season. And we have Raven. Uh, stealth helps keep our raiders from being detected. And theft steals from another clan. There's our sacred time. This is other. There's nothing in there yet. Yeah, so we have spirits. We have two spirits. Here is the map. We are here. The bird riders. So... The, these bits here are bits we haven't explored. All of this can be explored. Uh, these are the other uh, clans. You can see here we these these guys known for their hawks. They have uh, the wheel. the The wheel is uh, chariot riders, and the horse is is the the horse riders, same as us. Known for following pure horse practices. Their chief we owe them a favor. Keep slaves. Chief is they, they sell slaves but don't keep them, they ask a favor, you know, etc. etc. Uh, this is raiding. Uh, we can also build fortifications if we want to. Uh, and then we have wealth. Uh, we have 719 cattle. Ooh. Aids war leaders when enemies bring monsters to the battlefield. Oh. Sword that once slew an eerie elf increases chance of victory when raided by elves. We didn't even meet elves, weirdly. Uh, so we've got two battle treasures, apparently. We have three seasons of food stockpiles, 96 goods, 
And let's start. So, one for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war stuff, which does include like fortifications and things like that, uh, five for trading. Oh crap, we need to do that too. We'll do that afterwards. So Karis wants war stuff. Korea wants diplomacy. Troya wants diplomacy. We've got Elthane and Alex wanting exploration. Not a terrible choice. Um, so we've got three diplomacies. We've got two exploration and we've got one war. We've got three exploration and four. We have four exploration and one uh one diplomacy two diplomacies oh more exploration okay we want to see where we live people we have fast birds that we're apparently riding which i i don't think we are but okay everyone in the clan thinks we are everyone in the council thinks we are uh two is exploration shadow okay exploration which means uh that we need a ranger Head Ranger, etc. Uh, anyone in the uh, anyone in the who voted for two, put yourself forward as a Ranger captain. They are birds sitting on a horse, just birds with no feather. Ranger captain is uh, named Eagle. No, no, we. I, I actually need someone. Is someone who voted for exploration. Uh, okay, so we've got Alex has been put up for uh, for ranger captaincy. It's got two people voting for Alex. Would anyone else like to be the ranger? Four v people voting for Alex. Five people voting for Alex. I think Alex is Alex has been promoted to ranger captain. Alex, Alex, Alex. Alex the Eagle, apparently. Okay, so... Alex... Is the Ranger Captain. Just before we do the exploration, we need to do our venture. So, again, because of these... I'm going to give you guys a, a choice of three. Because these are the things you need to do, like, early on. We have clear pastures, expand fields, or finish houses. So, clear pastures one, expand fields two, finish houses three. Uh, I've got uh, twos. Oh, we want to farm, do we? Looks like we're going with expand fields. Do fields build faster than houses? I think it's all the same. Plant more burbs. I don't think that's how farming works, but... Oh, wait, are we farming birds? Really? We have farmers, might as well make them work. That is true, Mark. Okay, the council has spoken. We expand the fields. Barsden led the clan in the hard work of removing stones and ripping out stingweed. Then it was much easier, a much easier task to consecrate the newly cleared fields to Pella and the Alder. Yeah, so we'll do exploration in the next one. Um, sorry, we I forgot that we needed to do that. So we'll go that that vote that you just did and putting, we'll do exploring in the next one. Um, apologies. Uh, giant river monsters. Fuck me. Are those otters? Okay. Giant river monsters swarm across your lands, wounding and in one case killing your warriors. They depart after a while, but your people remain distraught. Your shamans point out that the Weeda people who dwell on the nearby Black Eel River have been known to make deals with river monster spirits. One, attack the Weaver Weeders. Two, call on the gods for aid. Three, call on spirits for aid. Four, reassure the clan that this is a one-time occurrence. And what do they say? River monsters, come aboard. We don't have to care what the Weeders think of us. Those teeth would make a swift work of a chariot problem with fighting weeders is not beating them but finding them because i'm on the circle a spirit ritual will be strong 
by selecting me to join the circle, we bolstered the strength of our Elmal rights. We just don't own much of value. Uh, we have three ones. We have two, three twos. We have a three and a four. So currently, it's it's equal between call on the gods and attack the weed weeders. Uh, noise game. Hey, what's up? Thank you for the follow. Uh, no raiding in spring. Three. We have heron, don't we? That's a river spirit. Oh, that's a good point. Shibi, what's the difference between God Aid and Spirit Aid? Elthane switches to two. Uh, the twos have it, Sheep. Thank you, Mark. It's hard to keep track of these. Two to three, and another two. So I'm assuming the twos are still winning. Call on the gods for aid. Would anyone like to change that? Change their votes or vote before we go? So, uh, the spirits are slightly different from the, uh, we have a river spirit. I changed to three. Okay. Another three. So a couple of twos have gone down in, in favor of three. Yeah, I, I, I don't worry, I, I did see at all. Uh, so... One second. There we go. All right. Uh, call on Burb God. Burb Spirit will save us. All right. Uh, we have. Uh, we do have a Heron Spirit, so we do actually have maybe Herons that we could ride. Possibly. Are we the Heron diplo diplomats who declare war on everyone? Uh, one, two, three. Um, a couple changed from two. I just need to see how many. Elthane switched to two. Uh, two to three. It's another three. Okay, it looks like spirit. I'm not 100% sure because it's all, all over the place. Um, Mark, can you confirm for me that it's threes of one here? Mark isn't technically... Mark is like the consigliere. He, he's not actually in the council. He can make votes and stuff, but he's like, he's actually my right hand man. Uh, change. To, okay, yeah, there, there we go. Elb changing probably uh, will definitely swing it to three. So we'll call on the spirits for aid. Do your shamans perform the long and taxing version of the ritual? I need a shaman. I need a head chief shaman. So anyone who voted for three. Oh, no, no, this is the choice of the shaman. So, Courier would like to be the shaman. Atoll would like to be the shaman. I want to be important. Who doesn't? Uh, Karis votes for Atoll. So, we've got two for Atoll, one for Courier, two for Courier, three for Courier, four for Courier, a two for Atoll, five for Courier, two for Atoll, two for Elb. Looks like Courier's going to be the shaman. All right. High Priest Courier. High Priest Courier, would you like to perform the long and taxing version of the ritual? Nah, phone it in. All right, no. The shamans pronounced the oh plus mood nice. The shamans pronounced the ritual successful. They ringed our lands with spirits to convince river monsters we did not deserve their wrath. Well done, courier. Damn, fucking high priest coming in like bow. Okay, we are now going to explore, which means uh, thank the heron. Yeah, let's just check. Do we have the heron? We do have a heron fishing, brings in food. Except him. Oh, cool. Apparent bargain. Persuade, offer magic, release for larger effect, release for longer effect. I just got fishing. Alright, cool. We'll, we'll go to that later. 
Uh, so, uh, Alex. Alex Fichte, uh, head lead ranger. Where would you like to explore? So, uh, so for, for explore, it, you can capture horses, wild horses, just do a regular explore, you can forage for food, uh, search for spirits. You can consult everyone else if you if you're not sure. Uh, hey, Sheepy, why didn't you upload the last uh, Shay or story? Uh, because it's someone else's like piece of work. I'm not sure I feel comfortable putting it up to be, uh, you know, to be forever there. I don't know. I may try and contact the person or the people who originally did it and be like, "Yo, is it cool if I upload this?" Explore the empty land above us. So kind of like, do you mean like kind of here? Or do you mean like up here? Explore. And you, you can go all the way up here if you want to. Explore starting off. Is it a terrible choice? Just a blank void in the map. What there? There, there is a little bit there that hasn't been explored. East is more fun. I think uh, he means that blank void to our northeast. Northeast. Where? Like up here? Directly above the river. Directly above the river. I, I still. I Oh, so we're... Oh, that bit there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was... Yeah. Um, so, Alex, directly above the river, you are on it. Yeah. So, do you want to explore this? This little bit that hasn't been explored yet in... Or uh, we could we could explore, like, all of this blank area. We, we could explore anywhere, really. Um, I would suggest somewhere that hasn't been is isn't revealed but if you just go like north of four drum then i'll just be like oh, okay like here if you go like south of aristone i'll be like okay like here like here uh what what where would you like to explore alex ba -da -bum -bum. Blank void to our northeast. Okay, so this like area here. I think if we go here, it should explore all of this. I'll just put it like there, just just so we can hopefully get all of it. Okay. Uh, seeing as you are taking them, how many swords and how many bows, Alex? And Arenny's going. Who is? Oh, bargaining heroic. Nice. Diplomacy excellent. So it's uh, 0 to 19 swords, uh, 0 to 30 bows. Best damn bird riding negotiator of the tribe. Uh, so j just, say, just say like, okay, so... If, if you don't know the game, right away, gotta go, folks. Okay, see you later, Elb. Um, how many troops do we have in total? Uh, probably, like, bows is not unlimited, but we have a shit ton. And swords is 19 total. So, I'd say, like, uh, like four or five swords, and then, like, we're not going far, so maybe, like, 15 bows would be, like, a decent thing for a short trip. Just to be cautious. And I'll, I'll always give you guys advice if you... Three swords, 25. Okay, that makes sense. Less swords, but more bows. Send. Send them. That's a little NL reference if anyone watches him play Tetris 99. Uh, your patrollers have been talking with those of your neighbors, the Fireflower clan. Like you, the Fireflowers are Hyalorings, who ride horses, herd cattle, and goats, and descend from the people who kept their freedom by fleeing the destruction of the Golden City. Until recently, the Fireflowers have shown little interest in you, as either friend or foe. 
but gradually they have grown more open towards you. An approach to them might bear good fruit. 1. Give them cows. 2. Throw a feast in their honour. 3. Wait until they come to us. Or 4. Give them goods. Let me just show you guys the... Uh, who are they? They're the fire flowers? There we go. Uh, known for their reliance on raiding, their chief is Avardar. Uh, they owe us a favour. They sell slaves but don't keep them. They have uh, 280 horses, two seasons stockpile food. Oh no, that's us. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that that's us right there. 111, one, one. we don't need our cows, we have birds. Wow, that's not a good reason to get rid of cows, but okay. Uh, Dan Man says three, Mark one, Troya one. So we've got four ones, five ones, sorry. We're giving them cows at the moment. Should we appoint a diplomat? Not for this. This is a clan decision, not a diplomat decision. What do the advisors say? Okay. Uh, if the, it, it, it is they who should petition us for friendship, not the other way around. Our lives will be easier if more clans like us. When people first split from one clan into many, we said we will always be one people. Better be feared than be loved. Friends are overrated. It is they who should petition us for friendship. Feasts are cheaper than gifts. A gift worth less than 10 cows is not worth giving. Uh, let's have a look. So, it looks like the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six ones, seven ones, eight ones. Yeah, we got ones. Okay. This will need a diplomat. Okay, everyone who voted one. Uh, either vote for someone who voted one to be our diplomat, emissary, or uh, put yourself forward. So, Elthane or Troya. We have two for Troya. We have one for Mark. We have one for Atal. Give them a thousand cows. The, the... <laughs> I, I, I vote for Atal. Never mind. He, uh, he said give them a thousand cows. No late. No, no, too late. No take backs. Uh, we've got three for Atal. We've got uh, four for Troya. One, two... Three for Troya, four for Troya, one, two, three for Atal, four for Atal. So it's, it's it's currently Atal or Troya. Oh, we got five for Atal. Okay. One more than the gift, gift not worth giving. Uh, so, yes, we have uh, Atal is currently winning. Would anyone else like to vote before Atal gets the emissary and gives them a thousand cows? <laughs> okay, Atal is... Uh, Atal, how many cows would the Emissary like to give as a gift to the Fireflowers? Twenty cows, they owe us one favour, so a small amount is better. Okay, twenty cows. Boom. The Fireflower Elders, uh, like plus one, herds minus twenty, pronounce themselves pleased with your generosity. Your names rattle gloriously in the throats of their singers. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so... Uh, it is the early fire season, fair weather, and ripening grain allows raiding. One for magic, two for ex exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war stuff, five for uh, trading. Four for war stuff. Keep in mind, guys, for war, war stuff doesn't necessarily mean raiding. You can you can build, uh, raid, or recruit. We did give them diseased cows, right? I guess so. I just want to steal eagles. 
Okay, so lots of fours. Okay, cool. So we're going with four. War stuff. Uh, one for recruitment, two for fortifications, and three for raiding. What's diplomacy but delaying the inevitable war? So Courier wants to raid. Uh, got three for recruitment, two for raiding, one for building. Uh, three for building, five for recruitment, four for four for building, five for building, five for building, five for recruitment. Oops, I meant two. Uh, so we've got one less for recruitment, one more for building. Six for two. Yeah. Looks like we are building. Which means... Okay, two. Which means that we need a guard captain. Uh, nominate, vote for, or put yourself forward, anyone who voted to, for guard captain. Urkel for guard captain. Dizzy for guard captain. Shadow for guard, guard captain. Two for Shadow, two for Dizzy, one for Urkel. Two for Urkel, two for Shadow, two for Dizzy. Three for Shadow. Shadow's winning. Shadow Wolf, four for Shadow. Five for Shadow, okay. Another for Dizzy, two more for Dizzy, okay. So that's Dizzy's on one, two, three, four. So Shadow's still winning. Five. He is the Raven Master. Okay. Uh, six. Oh god, I don't even know where the... Where the thing is. Um. So I think Dizzy won that then? One, two, three, four, five. Five for Dizzy? Okay, five. Six for Dizzy, five for Shadow, so far. Would anyone else like to like to vote or switch their vote before um, we vote Shadow? Six each. Wow, Blue Tongue, you really had to do that, did you? <laughs> we have a draw. I'll vote Dizzy. Okay, so uh, Courier switches from Urkel to Dizzy, so that puts... Uh, Oh, okay. I changed to Shadow. Okay, okay. You can't throw a Vita. Just stop trying to cheat, Courier. Um, no, it looks like it looks like Dizzy won because uh, Blue Tongue had voted already. All right, Dizzy won. God, Captain. Oh, okay, there we go. So, we are fortifying. Dizzy, what would you like to build? We have 101 goods. Watchtower, stockade, stake perimeter, rampart, ditch. The watchtower is the cheapest, and it's not really a defense. It, um... So, yeah, as far as I know, the watchtower, like, looks out for thing for, like, raids and stuff. The ditch and the rampart and the, the stake perimeter, etc. They're more defenses from attacks. Ramparts is walls. Yeah, yeah, they're like uh, dirt walls. Watchtower to look for burbs. Makes sense. It's also the cheapest. It doesn't cost that many, uh, that many goods. We're back from our expedition, which took us to the northeast. We explored an area I can only describe as wild and largely featureless. Okay. Welcome back, Alex. You kind of, like, exposed that area. There, there could have been something there. Delegations from two clans, the Arrowstones and the Goldmilks, seek the Birdrider's aid in resolving a dispute. Each claims to make better dumplings, co stone-cooked stew, and beef cube sauce than the other. 
they ask you to assemble a panel of elders to impartially judge their dishes. As frivolous as the dispute might seem, both sides clearly take it with great seriousness, their tempers already flir flaring. Select the judges who will choose based on merit, select judges who will favour the Aristone, select judges who favour the gold milk, drum up spirits to judge the contest, or decline to assist. Uh, so the Aristones, known for following pure horse practices, we owe them a favour, they keep slaves. And the Gold Milk Clan, known for their fondness for exploring, we owe them a favour. Uh, the Chiefs say, owe oh, the Dumpling Sizzle upon the Cube Tug Drizzle. Uh, yeah, start voting, guys. Um, sweet Spice Sauce, Sweet Spice Sauce. Both sides care deeply about this. Spirits could get us out of this mess, but they are capricio capricious. Both sides care deeply. We are less popular with the Aristones and should remedy that. Too many risks? Say no. Discerning fine differences is a matter best left to those who know their food. Spirits ate the contents of Name Forgot's first grain house. Thank you, Berlin Dry. Uh, okay, let's see what everyone's voted. Uh, we have one, one, two, ones, three, ones. Four one. It looks like four is gonna win. Uh, are we summoning the birds again? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fours. Sheep, can we has emotes? We have emotes. Check this out. Boom, boom, boom. There are there are emotes. The channel has emotes. You guys just can't have them. Um. Okay, so we're uh, dropping up the spirits, which means. Courier, Head Shaman, High Wizard. Do your shamans perform the long and taxing versions of the ritual? Courier, yes or no? But uh, determining which Oxo Cube is the best is very serious. Taxing. Ready? You do taxing for this? Yes. Hate plus one, mood minus, magic minus one. Hungry spirits gobbled, gobbled up all the food, leaving nothing for us. They said that both clans made good food, but that the gold milk dishes were ever so slightly better, especially the beef cubes. The gold milk celebrated, but the Aristones protested. They, they said that the spirits ate all sorts of things that humans didn't and couldn't be considered fair judges. They left grumbling while the gold milk stayed around to drink kumis with us. So we've got two like and two hate. The the Aristones obviously don't like us, but the gold milks do, which could be good. Okay, uh, we are on the late fire season. Fair weather and ripening grain allows raiding. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Uh, oh, we have a lot of fours. I have the feeling like they want to raid. Even th 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 this is the thing: is we said I saw people say right at the start, "Oh, we should, uh, we sh we should do the." Uh, the 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 uh, food will be coming in soon, just instantly. Um, yeah, I saw I saw people saying like, "Oh yeah, we should totally uh, not raid the first time. We should build ourselves up." And now everyone's just like, four, let's go to war." Okay, so one for recruitment, two for building, three for raiding. Uh, so we've got three raiding. We got. One recruitment, a raid. I mean, you have people. Oh, you don't have that many bows, but you can't. You can't recruit bows. Can only recruit swords. Uh, we have five, six threes. Okay. Seven threes, a two. A couple of people want to still build defenses, but apparently we want to raid more. We have more than when we started raiding on the other playthrough. That's not untrue. Wait, we lost a sword? He's just sick. There's a couple of people sick. It's fine. Should we call our raiders magpies? 
If we have the peeps, then I change to three. Okay. We, we do have people for raiding. All right, uh, we need a raid leader then. Anyone who voted three can put themselves forward. Anyone can vote for, okay, so Troyo wants to be a raid captain. Uh, Shadow wants to be a raid captain. Karis wants to be raid captain. Athel votes for Shadow, that's two for Shadow. Uh, that's two for Varys, two for Troya. Three for Troya. Currently Troya's winning. Four for Troya. Three for Varys, five for Troya. Peachy can go fuck himself. Their name shall be Silverbeak. The Silverbeak Magpies. Okay, looks like we're getting Troya for the raiding. Okay. <laughs> Troya, would you like to raid or herd raid? If they fail, they get a bad name. Okay. Herd raid first. Okay, herd raid. Overall, I don't think we should be the first to raid. We will need cooperation. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, so, the people who just started disliking us are the Arrow Stones down there. They hate us. The Arterima, known for their hawks. Black Spear, owe us a favor, sell slaves. Uh, they like us, Fireflower. We owe them a favor, Griffins. Jade Colt, Jade Colt mock us. They owe us a favor. Uh, Chief, it's a low Arish. Known for their large herds, we owe them a favor. The Nar Anon, the Sunbow, they hate us. Wait, they mock us? They they insult our birds? Ah! Known for being lost, leave Nivera. We owe them a favor. Okay. How are we allied already? We're not allied. We've got two like us, two who hate us, and one who mock us. So, uh, for Troya, uh, the people that you might want to look at is the Arrowstone... Uh, they hate us. Uh, the Jade Cult mock us. And... The Sunbow hate us, but they're a little further away over a river, so... Jade Cult. Mocking my clan equals death. I thought that that might be the one. Uh, how many swords and how many bows would you like to send? 0 to 18 swords, 0 to 25 bows. We're allied with the Low Arish. Oh, we are. I don't know how that happened. I'm a good diplomat. Yeah. So apparently you managed to get an alliance already. We're not sure how that happened. 19 and 20. Uh, 9 and uh, nine and 20. Sorry, yeah. Okay. 9 and 20. Off they go. Herd raid! Jade Colt patrols spotted our herd raid and our 9 swords and 20 bows are facing 6 swords and 7 bows. Tolia was glad that their force was weaker. Still, anything could happen. Magic, zero to three. Courier, how much magic should we use in this fight? Uh, aids war leaders when enemies break. Yeah, they're not bringing monsters to the battlefield. Uh, also, while, tr while, uh, while couriers trying to decide how much magic to use, um, Troya, do you want to plunder, kill as many as possible, or survival? Plunder, okay. Shaman Courier, zero. Our birds are precious and must be conserved. Okay, proceed! Troya, advance, charge, maneuver, skirmish, intimidate. What do our bird riders do? We must save our magic for important things, like the food contest. 
one, advance! Although the Jade Colts tried to retreat, we pressed our advance, and they could not disengage. Fight cautiously, take risks to win. Fight cleverly, press the attack, fight, fight fiercely, withdraw. Troya, your choice. Four, press the attack. They fought, fought, fought ferociously, but we pressed them back. It was soon over. The battle didn't last long. Their combat magic overcame ours, but we were not dismayed. We drove the Jade Colts from the battlefield and were, were able to plunder their herds. We captured 25 cows and two horses. We got back more, more cows than we gave away. We got a net profit, guys. Yeah. Yay, Troyer. Uh, we had three wounded, one wounded. We killed a couple of theirs. Okay. We need the help of the gods to ensure people are fed. Without magic, we can't reliably produce enough food. We do have sufficient food for now, but that won't last if we don't take action. I reckon the clan will eat more than we produce during the next year. We could ask for blessed barley from Pella. Our shamans could also bargain with the heron spirit for help with fishing. Because we have a heron spirit. Uh, time to bring in the harvest and prepare for the cold. So this is a bad time to raid. You will still have the option because... You have the option to be silly, but uh, yeah. So, one magic, two exploration, three diplomacy, four war, five trading. Ba -da -da. Three ones, three threes, four ones, five ones, six ones, seven ones. Everyone wants to go with magic. Okay, it's time for Shaman Courier. Shaman Courier, do you know how the magic works, by the way? Do you have, like, an idea, some idea? No. Okay, so basically, uh, for example, uh, let's, let's take Elmal here. Uh, we can build a... Uh, we don't have enough ritual to enlarge our temple, that's fine. So, for example... Uh, does it pass a season if you pick, like, trading and wind up unable to do it? Yes, yes it does. Uh, so, for example, uh, we can build temples to El- a uh, shrine to Elmal. Uh, the first one gives us one blessing, like, permanent blessing. It costs, uh, ten goods, and then has an annual maintenance of four goods and two herds. Uh, as you increase it, you increase the number of blessings you can do, but also the cost and the annual maintenance. So currently, we have the, the smallest shrine to Elmal, which gives us a permanent reduces wounds in battle. So during that raid, we got less wounds than we would have usually because we have this blessing going. Um, and you can do that, you know, like we, we can build a shrine to higher lore, which prolongs the life of our horses, for example. So we could build that. So that's one option. Uh, the other thing you can do is, for example, uh, well, Pella's not a good, yeah. For example, Rolandar, uh, we could, uh, sacrifice to Rolandar to, uh, get advice. Uh, we won't worry about that for a second. To, uh, basically, if we sacrifice, if we sacrifice, uh, like, goods and herds to mysteries... We could learn the ability to have, like, un basically unlock uh, clan law or instruction, you know, things like that. Uh, and then once they're unlocked, we can build a temple, uh, build a shrine to make it a permanent thing. The other choice we have is, let's go with, for example, Pella. We could just sacrifice to bless Bali. So you don't need to build the temple to get the bonus. But it's a it's a slight bonus, basically. Uh, so basically, we could sacrifice like a shit ton of goods, a shit ton of herds, get the blessed barley thing, but it would run out at the end of the year, and we'd have to do it again another time. Whereas the the if we build it, if we built the uh, the Pella shrine, it would be permanent. So the other choice we have uh, is spirits. We could bargain, basically, persuade, offer magic, 
uh, to uh, have like theft, steal from another clan, stealth, help our raiders from being detected, or the heron, we can fish and get more food. So, with all of that in mind, Courier, and keep in mind you can totally ask me for advice, uh, what would you like to do? My advice, seeing it, seeing as you guys are, um, seeing as you guys are going farms, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say what Alex said, which is basically my advice would be to build a shrined pillar for the improved crop yield. It will get you more food, basically. Heron is bay. I mean, if you want, if you want to, if you want to bargain some magic, you can offer a point of clan magic to get the fishing it guarantees cooperation so and we do have some uh you know they 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 both work what well, what would you like courier uh shrined pella offering to heron bay go with pella early sh save heron for our food contests of course, of course. Okay, Shrine to Pella, build. Crafters report that your village kiln has been firing especially well lately, resulting in pots and vessels of unusual dur durability. Shamans speak to its spirit and discover that it wishes to bring cheer in your time of disquiet. Uh, we have to learn a new way of kiln making when we left Golden City. What is the opposite of de problematius? For this is surely that. Good pot buyer always finds an eager buyer. Uh, chieftain praise should suffice. Again, a spirit grants us crucial aid. We can keep this blessing going indefinitely, provided we never tax our magic to the limit. We must put our finest songsmith on this. If you think that is me, I'm flattered and will do my utmost. So, uh, one, celebrate the kiln in song. Two, extend the benefit with an expenditure of magical resources. Incidentally, just so everyone knows, we do have three magic spare. So, you know, that would be one magic. Uh, three, honor the kiln with a feast. Uh, four, honor the kiln with words of praise. So we've got uh, four twos. Yeah, honestly, I would have gone with two as well. Expend, you know, extend the benefit if we can. Summon the, the, the Mechanicus. Summon the Mechanicus. So we've got five twos and a one. Six twos, seven twos, eight twos. I think the twos might have it. And of course the shaman wants to use magic on this. It's like food and kilns? Fuck yeah. Okay. Extend the benefit with the expenditure of magical resources. The council has voted. Plus mood, minus magic. The shaman said the kill magic would last for another 14 seasons? That's a couple of years. Fuck, okay. At which point we might be able to extend it further. Fucking hell. We should go check out, like, let's... There should be other, right? Oh, it's not in other? Where do we see that? Uh... Is it here somewhere? Let's see it. Huh, okay, well. Wealth? Ah, craft bounty, there it is. So we've got a bounty of crafts, so we'll get a lot more goods uh, for a while, it looks like. Uh, we've got a food stockpile for three seasons. It is the late earth season, time to bring in the harvest, so we should get more food. Uh, so one, magic. Two, exploration. Three, diplomacy. Four, war. And five, wealth. Keep in mind, guys, that it is still the harvest season. Raids are not advisable, but I know you may want to do it. Five, trading. Okay, we're going for trading. Interesting. You guys, you guys have have learned some stuff. Def, definite, definitely learned some stuff um, since the last time we played. We have kilns. We, we do have kilns. Okay, in that case, that will be 
Atl, ATL. You have the option of establishing a trade route with any of these people, selling or buying food, goods, herds, horses, treasure. Um, and you can set, you can send a small, medium, or large uh, caravan. Trade with the hawk people for their hawks. I don't think. Wait, where are the hawk people? Are there hawk people? Uh, establish with low Irish. That's a good choice. That's that's what I was gonna to, like. That was my thought. Was like, yeah. So establish route. Uh, God captain is dizzy. Dizzy. How many swords? How many bows? Zero to eighteen swords. Zero to thirty bows. It, it. They are like right next to us. Instantly. Low Irish is like really close. Uh, just to the west, southwest, west. Yeah. Uh, and how big would you like the the caravan to be? I don't think it matters, actually. Um, I'll just keep it on medium. It's because we are drug dwarfs this time. That's true. Yeah, yeah medium makes sense. I, I don't think it matters for a trade route, but... Uh, uh, yeah, God Captain Dizzy. Zero to 18 swords, zero to 30 bows. Half everything, I have no idea. Half everything. Done. My party and I were able to cross the Black Eel River without too much trouble. I'm worried that next time might not be as easy, even though this river was not as powerful as the Arcos, which flowed into our ancestral homeland. Our caravan... Oh, we got plus two goods. Our caravan is back from the Low Arishi. The Low Arish traders were pleased to receive our first caravan to them. They said that access to more horses was always a good thing and agreed to a regular trade. We also made a small profit from the trip. Good job, Emissary Atl. ATL. Our market will likely make a profit of 21 cows worth of goods this year. Nice. Okay. So, we've got a food stockpile for four seasons. It is the early dark season. Winters are harsh, a time of snow and cold. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trading. It's a lot of, uh, oh, that's, that's, that's a lot of magicings. Hope you're ready. Or hope you're ready, courier. Is it possible for us to figure out the river crossing magic now that we have a river spirit? I don't know. Maybe. I will find a way to backstab. <laughs> we have a traitor in the council, guys. Magic it is, courier. What would you like to do this time for magic? Would you like to sacrifice for, for blessings, mysteries? Sacrifice for mysteries. Okay, would you like me to go through the gods? Uh, Busanari, the cow mother, daughter of Nialda. There's cow stuff. We've got hunting, tracking, and, and skirmishes. Uh, goddess of trade, communication, diplomacy. Uh, God of war, Elmal. Erissa, god of healing and health. Gamari, horse goddess. Horse stuff. Higher Law, hero who bought us horses and gave us law. Inilia, goddess of foraging, so can help find in things. Uh, Nialda, great earth mother, crafting, hospitality, corporation, blessing children. Osara, Elmal's daughter, fire arrow, improves the effectiveness of skirmishes. We've got Pella, but we could sacrifice for more mysteries. Wait, can we? No, we can't. Never mind. Uh, Rolanda, wise advisor and teacher. Have we harvested? Yes. Yes, we, we just harvested. Um, advice. Instruction. Clan law. Uriyada. Goats. Zalen. God of explorers. 
do people get more sick in the winter? I don't think so, but possibly. Got four people sick, just commoners. Wow, we don't have as many people as last time either, I've noticed. Our people are very healthy. Options for Rolandar. Uh, advice improves the quality of advice. So that's this, the stuff that our advisors say. Uh, instructions help leaders develop their abilities to the fullest. Basically makes these people more powerful. Like, if you look here, it's like bargaining, very good, combat good. It'll like Im improve these uh, with our counselors. And then clan law strengthens our knowledge of sacred stories and law. Which I think works towards like the rituals and the uh, the this, this stuff here. Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Clan law. We must know how to ride our burbs better. Okay, sacrifice for mysteries. Hopefully, we'll get Clan law. Uh, zero to thirty-five goods. Zero to thirty-five herds. We have ninety-three goods and seven hundred and twenty-one herds. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. This will unlock it, by the way, Courier. It won't. It won't make it happen. So, like, so, like, what you can do is you can sacrifice to mysteries to unlock these as options. Twenty-five goods. That makes sense. Uh, or you can sacrifice for advice, and for the for 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 like a certain amount of time, uh, you'll have uh, you'll have better advice. So, mysteries or advice, just let me know what you want to do. What do we do to sacrifice people? I don't know. I know that in the previous game you could sacrifice slaves, but I think they wanted to move away from that because it's 2019 and people will probably take issue with that. Because that's how people is. Mysteries, 20, since apparently I don't need... Uh, I mean, you know, yeah, it, it's, uh, it is what it is. Worship the evil gods in King of Dragon Pass. Yeah. Sacrifice! We did get the clan law blessing. Damn! We unlocked it. Nice. Uh, Zelor, a warrior of the Aristone. Oh, wait, don't the Aristone... Don't, they don't like us, right? They hate us. Okay, yeah. Aristone hate us, just so you know. Uh, comes to talk with your clan circle. After extended indirect preliminaries, it becomes apparent that he is at odds with his family and clan. He has won many battles for them, he says, but he and his brothers have not been granted status in accordance with their victories. He wonders if your clan might be open to adopting him and his immediate household. Were that to happen, he would bring goods and livestock. Uh, so, Nazor, nephew of Emal, wanted more cattle and a second wife, and that is why this is the only story about Nazor. He strikes me as a sort who doesn't let mere words get tangled in his, his you know... His, his dick. Okay. Let's not make a big matter of this. We should always look for chances to improve relations with our neighbours. Clan switching is rare, but does happen. He will swing a sharp sword. He is wasting our time. So, one, go to great lengths to recruit him. Two, inform the Aristone that he approached you. Three, tell him he can join you if he wants. Four, decline. Let's see what everyone's voting. We've got, uh... One, two, three, four ones. One, two, three, four threes. One, two, three, four, five threes. One, two, three, four ones. A lot of he can join if he wants. Not looking to recruit him, just saying like, yeah, you can join us if you like. So far, the threes are winning. Anyone else want to chuck their thoughts in there? Another three. Okay. Okay. The council is like, yo, you can join if you want. It's cool. Whatever. Plus mood. He seemed to expect a warmer reception. Zelor departed. The circle said he was headed back to his own people and never really meant to join us. People were glad we did not grovel to a fickle outsider. Well done, council! Damn! Good job, you figured that guy out. Okay.
So. Time to go and rob him. Uh, we are in the... Whoops. We are in the late dark season. Winters are harsh, time of snow and cold. Uh, one for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Bird riders, rub out! Arrow clan. Arrow clan will die in the summer. One. More magic? Okay. We're looking to our to our shaman and guide courier to to get us the blessings of the gods. So we've got some war in there, which guy oh no, it's some diplomacy in there. Interesting. Okay. But the ones the ones look like they're gonna have it. Okay. Uh Shaman Courier, what would you like to do? Uh, you do have the spirits as well. Fishing, stealth, stealth, theft. Can we afford an Elmal upgrade? Uh, the build, like the, um, the, the build. We, we would need to run another ritual. Uh, here's the thing though. Um, what you can do is you can unlock these, uh, these blessings and switch. So if you don't want protection like wounds in battle, you can switch it from protection to steadfast if you've unlocked steadfast. You could also build a temple to lore if you'd like. Uh, lore temple, uh, Rolandar, this, this one here, the clan lore. Okay, build a temple. Uh, So that will be uh, cost 10 goods. It will be 4 good goods and 2 herds per per year. Hey, black dress, what up? Build. Clan law. Okay. Uh, and we didn't have anything happen that season. Ah, interesting. Uh, so, early storm season. The weather is unpredictable as forces of light and darkness battle. We have two more seasons, this one and next one, until the end of the year. One magic, two ex ex exploration, three diplomacy, four war, five trade. Got a little exploration, got a little magic. Hey Lanny, how's it going? Freaking crazy. That, was, the, that sexy raid leader from, from last time is back. Uh, so the threes, diplomacy, war is four, right? Yeah, four is war. Uh, okay, so, oh god. Lots of threes, a few fours. It looks like the threes are winning the uh, diplomacy. Oh, didn't mean to click off that. Bo, bo, bo. What's our food? Our food is... Uh, Three seasons worth, so it'll get us... We'll have two seasons at the end of the year. It's pretty good. Two to three. Yeah, okay, so we're going Diplomacy. That calls upon the Emissary, Atal, ATL. Uh, I will go through the everything. Do, uh, would you like to look at the ones close to us? So we've got the Orvisi here, known for strong magic, controller hill fort. Ooh, a hill fort, cool. Uh, we've got the Jade Cult. Uh, they mock us. They're the ones we raided. We've got the Fire Flower. They like us. They are us a favor. Reliance on raiding. The Arturima. Known for their hawks. Find the hawk people. The Arturima? Do you mean the, these, the ones known for their hawks? Okay. I found them. You want to emissary them? Uh, so. Goods, herds, horses. Oh, also, God Captain Dizzy. Uh, let me know how many swords and bows. 0 to 19, 0 to 30. Swords and bows. 
Uh, what would you like to take with you as an offer of diplomacy, if anything? We have 723 herds, 68 goods, um, and how many horses do we have? Uh, I guess we can offer 25. 5 horse, 20 goods, 10 herds. 5 horse, 20 goods, and 10 herds. Okay. Dizzy, guard captain. Stop that. 20 herds. I changed to 20 herds. Okay. Is that seven swords and bows? Okay. Seven swords, seven bows. That's a lot of swords. Didn't see how many herds we had. Okay. So 20 herds, 20 goods, five horses. All right. Sending the emissary. The Low Arish Clan, who are your allies, send emissaries to request your participation in a mission to hunt down and drive off a roving band of Infitheli raiders. These people are rams, but not from the valley. They hail from one of the four storm kingdoms to the south. It is bad enough that our neighbours steal our cattle. These interlopers must be shown that we are not prey. Elmal showed his love for his daughter Osara by showing her how to cleave off the heads of bandits. Allies expect help in exchange for the help they give us. A sword is a sword, no shame in hiring one. The fate of our warriors would rest entirely in the hands of, low, of a low Irish war leader. We are not obligated to give allies everything they ask. Elmal might help us or might expect to work through the warriors we send. If we allow the lower Arishi to fail, the risk of banditry will increase. And let's just have a look at the lower Arish. Known for unusual beadwork, chief is Can Chavez. We're allied, they keep slaves. One, send warriors. Two, give them goods to hire warriors from another clan. Three, boost their war magic by sacrificing to El Mal. Four, regretfully decline. Oh, we want to fight. Okay, of course we do. If the raid captain is fine with it. Okay, sending warriors. Raid captain, Troya, how many warriors do you send? 0 to 12 bows, 0 to 20, uh, 0 to 20 bows, 0 to 12 warriors, uh, swords. We kill. Ba, ba, ba. Six swords, 15 bows, alrighty. Six swords, 15 bows. Minus smooth, minus swords, minus population, minus horses. The low Irish hunters led us to the raiders scrublands hideaway and the battle began. Hesitation by the low Irish war leader put us at immediate disadvantage. After four of our warriors were slain and another five wounded, we fled as did the lower Rishi. We lost as many horses as men. Okay. So, this is the late storm season. It's the last one in the year. Uh, the weather is unpredictable as forces of life and darkness battle. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. All in favor of raiding the Lower Rishi? Why would you raid the Lower? Okay, war? Jesus, what are we doing with war? Okay, it's war. Uh, one for recruit, two for fortify, uh, three for raid. One, one. one. I love it when the council gets so focused on one thing, when they're just like, ah, we lost men, we need more men, fucking ah. Okay. Question, is this the fault of the guard captain who sent seven swords off with uh, the with the diplo diplomat? Just a question. 
Okay. This will be, uh... Oh, this will be Guard Captain Dizzy. You can train from 12, uh... From 1 to... One, two, three, four. One to four swords. So, thir 13 to 16 swords, basically. And also recruit from Promising Riders. Oh, you can... Yeah. Max, okay. Uh, from Promising Riders, from outside the clan, offer additional gifts worth one cow. You can do all or one. Wow, you non-diplomatic nerds. Then we all died because our elders were injudicious and I skulked off to get some warmer, some warm tights. All in? All right. Wow, that was a good choice. We only got three warriors even doing everything. Uh, when in doubt, give gifts. Uh, so this is for ATL. Uh, your emissary, Areni, nears the R. Tarima village. She brought 20 cows worth of goods, 20 cows and 5 horses to present as a gift. 1. Just give gifts. 2. Propose an alliance. 3. Discuss tribute. How much do they like us now? Uh, Arturima, Arturima. They are known for their hawks. They do not give a shit about us. Hi, you lab me now. More warriors' death. Little black dress gets it. Just gifts for now? Okay, just gifts. We sent Arini to... Give five horses, twenty cattle, and goods worth twenty cows to the Arturima clan. The Arturima chief seemed taken aback that we had sent a woman as our representative. Uh oh. Uh oh. Arini reports the Arturime extravagantly praised our gifts. They toasted us in their feasting hall, drinking kubis far into the night and singing many rousing songs with us. I believe we can now consider Parastak, their chief, to be friendly. Though wheels try not to show that they might like us. Uh, that's the different type of clan with the chariots. Uh, before we left, they told us about a smoking crater somewhere to the west of us. Their explorers decided not to investigate. Ooh. Okay, what, uh, guys, I'm going to pee and get a drink. Type in the chat what you want to focus on this, this month. And I'll have a look at all of the... Uh, I'll have a look at all of the uh, the responses and I'll, I'll assign stuff. Okay, let's have a look at what everyone wants. Uh, so, uh, fields, explore fields, war, war, resources, diplomacy, crafts, diplomacy, war. Hey, Rock. 
Uh, must find the crater, cross fields ritual, fields pastures, craft war, burb rituals must continue. 420 crater, want to go. Uh, fields exploring, crafts, ritual. So I'm getting fields, crafts, ritual, war. Is there anything else in there? Diplomacy, a little bit. Exploration, a little bit. Okay, guys. E exploration or diplomacy? Give me a vote. Pasture. Diplo. Explore. Diplo. Explore. One for explore. Another for explore. Interestingly, the, the scout, uh, our ranger captain, said uh, diplomacy instead of explore. But, okay. Uh, it looks like we've got explore, so we'll go with exploring this time. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at how the clan does. Yeah, it's because he's lazy, he doesn't want to go out searching. Uh, last year, 28 babies were born. We initiated 20 children as adults. The clan has one more person, 21 fewer heads of cattle, and five fewer horses than we did last sacred time. We did give away the horses and cattle to be friendly, so that makes sense. And the Diplo said explore instead of Diplo? I didn't see that. <laughs> Our crafters produced 44 cows worth of goods. That's pretty good. We don't have that many goods, but that's pretty good. Maintaining our sh shrines took 8 cows and goods worth 16 cows. Many of our mares would have twins and triplets. We are known for being the last clan to arrive in the valley. Oh, minus mood. Oh no. Enard Devus has stepped down as chieftain of the Red Feather Clan after experiencing a dread vision. He won't talk about it except to say that he experienced time the way the gods do as something both non-existent, fluid and eternally repeating. Since this epiphany, he has been unable to care about anything, especially the day-to-day -day affairs of the clan. Enardivus' successor, Urnost, thanked him for all of his efforts and wisdom. Still, the Feast of Succession took place under a dark cloud of quiet. And this is our, um, our diplomat, who's letting, letting, us, letting us know about that. Okay. So, we are on the early sea season. Time to prepare and sow the fields. One magic, two explore, three diplomacy, four war, five trade. We only have 28 goods. Wow. What happened to all our goods? Ah. We've got one for explore, one for diploma, uh, one for trade. Oh, actually, sorry, guys. Cancel that. Cancel that before everyone starts voting. Cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, would you like to clear pastures or finish houses? There's other stuff we can do, but uh, those are probably the ones that you guys would, would like to do. Thank you, Mark. So we've got... Uh Two people going for clear pastures. A lot more people going for finished houses. Ethan. I would vote two, but spam filter. Oh, okay. Pastures for more cows. Houses. How was food last winter? It was actually pretty good. We're, we're doing okay for now on food. What does clear pastures do? It gives us area for the herds, basically. Can we have Swedish houses instead of Finnish? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it looks like Finnish houses is the one that we're going to do this time. Hobbit holes. Houses, then. Look at Barsden. He's so cool. Hey, Barsden. At first, people set to making more permanent roofs and paintings. Uh, but as the week went on, arguments began to break out about which families' houses would be finished last. Uh, work was left unfinished. Barsden said that getting all seven families to agree was never easy. He was willing to try to organise them in a year. Really? God damn it. Our people suck. Okay, sorry. Now it's still it's late sea season. Same season, just later. Uh, one for magic, two for exploration, 
Uh, there's the crater over there. Uh, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Exploration. A lot of people wanting to explore. Okay. A lot of people wanting to explore. All right. Even though he's lazy AF, Alex, where would you like to go? What would you like to do? So that's interesting. If you if you like go and um if you go and like chat and diplomacy, you can get like hints about stuff as well, which is kind of cool. Crater time. So you want to explore here. Uh, how, ma how many uh, swords and bows? 0 to 22 swords, 0 to 30 bows. Eight swords, thirty bows. Yeah, I, I I would say for a big big one like this, uh, that's probably about right, in my opinion. Oh, a plague of burrowing rodents infests your pasture lands. Several horses have broken their legs, stepping into the holes they dig. Your horse handlers fear worse losses if these rodents, called blacktails, are not somehow dealt with. One asks spirits to send hawks and snakes. Two, call upon Nyalda to swallow them up. Three, divert herders to trap and kill them. Four, organize a mass ritual against them. Five, wait for them to die off on their own. And then we've got mass ritual would be the most popular option. Diverting herders will cause a short-term problem, leaving the blacktails to die off, plus their meat can be dried and eaten later. Once spoke to a talking rodent, it did not have much to say. Thank you, Azina. Make them into dried meat. We don't know whether blacktails afflict the entire valley. Divine magic can be aided by sacrificing cows or goods. To increase the chance of, of a spiritual ritual working, we must tax our magic. We can't afford a big sacrifice. Ones! Ask spirits to send hawks and snakes. But then we have hawks and snakes to deal with. Oh, because it's hawks. Of course you guys... You guys are your fucking birds. Okay, fine. Ask the spirits to send hawks and snakes. Shaman, courier. Do your shamans perform the long and taxing version of the ritual? Yes, because of course we do, because we want birds, because we're bird people. Bird people. The plus mood minus magic one. We'd still have four magic, to be fair. The shamans called out to the spirits of hawks and snakes. The air filled with the cries of hawks. What the fuck? We cried out to hawks and snakes and hawks came? Oh no, snakes came too. Okay, goddamn. I thought the game was like, hey, they like... <laughs> I thought the game was like, hey, they like birds so much. Let's just give them birds. Fucking hell. Do you want it to be cows instead? Almost, Ethan. Almost. Uh, the earth riot with hungry snakes. Soon the black tails were gone. I haven't made a bird bad I haven't made a bird decision. I haven't made a bad decision yet. Ten out of ten Burpomancer. Should I change Shaman to Burpomancer? Like the title. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, it's being changed. Burp. Mansa. That's a that's a strange council vote. <laughs> that's that's a very strange council vote that I had. So so we're we're not even we're not the bird riders, are we? We're just the bird people. Just the bird people. Okay. Now to get the mongoose. So what's gonna happen when the gophers are gone? I don't know. It's just, just okay, well I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, one for ma- uh, sorry, it's, uh, early fire season. 
Uh, fair weather and ripening grain allows raiding. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trading. So we got a couple of trading, a couple of war, a lot more trading. Of course, Lonnie wants war. Sorry, Lonnie. <laughs> it's probably my accent. Uh, so we got like, oh damn, that's a lot of trading. Okay, trading, we're going to trading. What's the food situation like? Two seasons. You, yeah, you will be fine for food when the, when the, when, when you get the, the, uh, the thing in. You should get a decent amount of food coming in, I think. So, uh, bandits are becoming a real threat. We could assign a larger escort or devote some time to scouring the area for bandits. Oh, okay. Uh, so, ATL. Uh, who would you like to trade with? Uh, would you like to go with someone you like? I'm uh, like that like us. I'm assuming. Uh, who, who, we're oh yeah, we're trading with the low Arish already. That's the that's what the tick is. Uh, I can't see ATL. Five it is. Um, someone who likes us. Okay, so, uh, the J. Colt Mokas, the Griffins, who are technically birds, uh, because of the name. Uh, no, not really. Gold Milk, uh, known for their fondness of exploring. We owe them a favor. Pursuit of trade. Uh, the Fireflower like us. They owe us a favor. They're known, known for their reliance on raiding. Tick is you sent any caravan. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. But that's blacked out, so yeah. We could ride the griffins. That sounds like a sex thing, damned man. Uh, the black spear, us a favor. The arrow stone, uh, hate us. Fireflower seems good. And you want to establish a trade route, I'm guessing. Sell some trade goods and buy horses. Longer term seems helpful. Okay. Uh, 0 to 14 swords, 0 to 30 bows. Arrowstone needs some war. Bandits are calling a royal threat. Craft bounty because our kiln blessing. We have not yet cleared forests to make more pastures. During sacred time, we devoted one point of our clan magic to crafts. So that will help a trader. Not Anoni have the most herds. The Aristone have the most horses, the Griffins have the most goods. Bandits were spotted nearby, yeah. I want to search for food and spirits. Well, get the council to vote for you, dude. It's not no it's, it's nothing to do with me. I'm just I'm I'm just like I'm just like the old advisor who sits there and is like, this is a bad idea. Uh ATL. Uh zero to fourteen swords, zero to thirty bows. How many do you want to take with you? Lots of soldiers seems good. Yeah. S Scout Captain wants to go on an acid trip. Scout Captain is already going to see the tr the crater, so. Max bows. Makes sense. Thought it was someone else. Uh... Technically, possibly, it could be Dizzy, the guard captain. But I, I just figured I'd leave it up to you on this one. I can't remember. Seven swords. Okay, seven swords. Send. Uh, minus two goods. Our caravan is back from the Fireflowers. The Fireflower traders were pleased to receive our first caravan to them. Not only did they give us goods, which turned out to be of poor quality, but they refused to set up a trade route. They seemed more interested in trading with outsiders. I think they were hoping we could trade some sort of unusual goods. Okay, we kill them next time. <laughs> it is the late fire season. Fair weather and ripening grain allows raiding. 
Uh, one for magic, two- I know what you guys are gonna vote for. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for- Oh, look, there's loads of fours. Isn't that a surprise? Uh, five for trading. Kill time! Okay. One for recruitment, two for fortifications, three for raiding. Raiding! Raid leader Troyer, better get yourself ready, man. Oh no, damn, maybe not. There's more, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven raiding, eight raiding, nine raiding. Uh, no, no, yeah, the raiding's, uh, coming out. Okay. Raid leader Troyer. Not sexy raid leader, just raid leader Troyer. Would you like to one raid or two herd raid? This is for, uh, Troyer, not for everyone. <laughs> they should have been more friendly, though I'm still trying to get to that crater. Thank fuck for that. Blood and raid? I guess that's just a regular raid. Okay. Who would you like to raid? I'm assuming the Fire Flower, who like us and owe us a favor, but they pissed us off because they refuted, refused to set up a trading route with us. <laughs> Look at the diplomat being like, yeah, they, they rejected my trade. Fuck them. Uh, there are other people. The, we raided the Jade Cult last time because they mock us, but the Aristone hate us. They're not too far away. Um, and then there's uh, the the Sun Bows as well up above us. They hate us. They hate us. Arrow first, then Lorish, then wait l the the Lowerish. We're allied with them, and we have a trade thing with them. But, okay, so we're doing the arrow stone first. Okay, 0 to 14 bows, 0 to 124, uh, uh, zero, to, uh 0 to 14 swords, uh, 0 to 24, um, uh, 0 to 124 bows, and ATL, do we call on the Loarish in our alliance? That or the Arterima, because they are sexist pigs. <laughs> crush haters! Uh, little Black Dress, you do realize that sometimes Crush can refer to the sex. Just saying. Do they owe us a favor? The Lower Rish? Uh, no, we're just allied with them. Ten swords, sixty bows. Ten swords, sixty. Wow, that's a low raid. Are you sure? Just gonna check with you. Wipe out all of them. No, lower ish. They suck. You could also call in favors for that. Yes, call in, call in the lower ish. Okay. Okay, one hundred bows. All right. Everyone, it's time to go raiding. The lower rishi sent nineteen warriors. Aristone patrols spotted us and our 10 swords and 100 bows are facing 17 swords and 106 bows. Courier, the Bob Burbmancer, 0 to 4 magic. You might want to spend a bit of magic on this. Uh, and uh, Troya, would you like to plunder, kill as many as possible, or survival? It's funny, it's funny that the, the peaceful ass, um, the peaceful ass drunk dwarf cow worshippers, one magic, you might want to spend more than one magic, I'll just, you know, little, little bit of advice from the old bearded man at the back. Um, yeah, uh, it's funny that the cow worshipping drunk dwarves were like amazing at war and never lost. I think it was the sexy part of the raid leader who was just like... I, I don't know, just like some weird succubus 
running out into battle and seducing men. Um, need more magic for Oxo Cube? Sorry. Okay, one magic. Uh, Troya, plunder. Okay, plunder. Uh, oh, damn. So we got actually plus 13 swords. They sent 13 swords with us and six... Okay, that's better. Damn. So 23 swords total. Okay, not as bad as we thought it was then. Uh, so, uh, Troya. Advanced charge, maneuver, parley. Uh, reserve one in seven fighters. Conduct a magic ritual. Skirmish or intimidate the foe. I was right. We have the advantage. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you sex the haters, either they hate you less or it's really good sex and you keep hating each other to preserve that. What a tangled web. Hate fucking is a thing, to be fair. I'm not going to give my opinion on it, but hate fucking is a thing. <laughs> Two. Charge! Our charge hit the arrow stones before they could complete their ritual magic. Oh, you fucked up their magic, man! Shit! Yeah! Okay. One, conserve your strength. Two, berserk attack. Three, take advantage of an opportunity for plunder. Four, take risks to win. Five, press the attack. Six, fight fiercely. Seven, withdraw. Five, press the attack. They waited for an opportunity, but we gave them none. The battle began to swing our way. Tolia said that only the gods could say for sure, but our fighting skills seemed better than theirs. One, conserve your strength. Two, take risks to win. Three, fight cleverly. Four, press the attack. Five, fight fiercely. Six, withdraw. Four, press the attack. Sometimes a battle has a pivotal moment when a leader has the chance to act heroically. This is one of those times. Who is this? Tolia? The combat is renowned. Okay. As you fight the arrow stones, you hear a din from the other side of the battlefield. A group of warriors from the Fireflower clan rans, rides towards your foes. Swords and bows poised to attack them. The two clans are neighbours, not good ones from the look of it. The Fireflowers must have seen you headed here, mustered, and got around the other way to flank the arrow stones. Tolia recalls glimpsing a scouting party. That must have been them. What action does Tolia command? Now, this is for everyone. So everyone can vote on this. One, call, call El Mal's blessing d upon them. Two, support them as they lead a strike. Three, hit as, hit as hard as they do. Four, strive to outdo them against the arrow, hone, arrow stones. Five, wave them off. We got three threes, hit as hard as they do. We've got a four, strive to outdo them. Got some twos. Support them as they lead a strike. We've got a one. Call L. Of course, the shaman wants to call the blessings down. Looks like threes are winning, although four are close. Wait, the trade rejectors came to help or steal glory? Courier, I haven't been wrong yet. Listen to Burmancer. Uh, okay, let's me have a count of what we got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, threes. One, two, three, four, fours. One, two, three, twos. It looks like the threes win. It looks like the threes win. Hit as hard as they do. Our foes reeled. Troya, back to you, sir. Conserve your strength. Take risks to win. Press the attack. Berserk attack. Withdraw. I would suggest that in the current situation, uh, going by what the council said, that would be a berserk attack. The crows speak to me, and the magpies leave gifts. I'm a tribalist. Why not magic? Three. Okay, press the attack. Troya is not going with the council. The council wants berserk. Troya goes with press. Although they tried to fight cautiously, their slowness to react let us get a better position. It was soon over. It was a bloody battle. Their battle magic was stronger than ours because our Burpomancer refused to give us magic. 
But we were not dismayed. We drove the Aristones from the battlefield and were able to plunder their lands. Our share of the plunder was 20 horses. We took 10 cows worth of loot. We plundered the bowl of healing smoke. Due to their prompt, prompt healing, our auxiliaries saved three warriors from dying and patched up four of the wounded. We lost no people. We got seven bows wounded, lost no people. Fuck, we destroyed them. What reward do you offer the Fire Flowers as thanks for the crucial intervention? This it, this will go to ATL, actually. ATL, Fire Flowers. I'm pretty sure they're the ones who rejected our, our trade. Uh, wealth, consider this a favor repaid or nothing. Best raid, three, nothing. Okay, nothing. Uh, without quite saying so, they've made it clear that they're expecting a reward from us, even though we had not asked them to fight for us. Minus one like. Oh, our cattle tenders report that when we sent nearly all our warriors to raid the Arrowstones, the Sunbow clan saw their chance and stole 11 cows! A group of... <laughs> uh, I said nothing. Yeah, you, I, I chose nothing from you. That's all. These are the guys who showed up randomly? Screw them! Murder the Sunbows for their insolence! Uh, a group of well-spoken traders from the Griffin clan arrives. Only a few clans brought to Pecos, God of Smiths, from Nivera. You, you did, so the Bird Riders clan makes the best bronze goods. Yes, we make loads of bronze birds. Just all different types of birds. Uh, we wish to trade for everything your redsmiths produce for the next seven years. In exchange, we'll give you 40 cows worth of goods now. Sounding them out, they are only interested in this large exclusive offer. Leray thinks for a while, then tells the circle that we would probably make 50 cows worth of bronze goods over seven years. One, agree to their terms. Two, agree but bargain over the terms. Three, decline. <coughs> got a couple of twos and a th and three threes. Got four threes, two twos, three twos, four twos. Equal now. The the twos are winning for the bargain. Got uh one two three. Five threes and more twos. <laughs> I know it's more twos. I can see the twos. They're much bigger. Okay, we're going to bargain. Keep in mind, guys. Actually, bargaining is pretty good. But yeah. Be a winner. Vote two. So, we're going to agree, but bargain over the terms. Wow. Our attempt to get a better deal only gave them opportunity to raise concerns about the supply of our bronze goods. In the end, we had to settle for the A38 cow's worth of goods. They paid on the spot and said they would return on a regular basis for the products of, of civilization we had preserved. I knew it. Hey, hey, Alex, you weren't even there. You're off, you're off exploring, sir. It could be anything. Oh, this is an Alex thing. Okay. Irene and ex her explorers see smoke billowing from the ground. Moving towards it, they see that it issues from a crater about the size of a single pasture. One, climb right in. Two, drum for protective spirits, then climb down. Three, seek divine blessing, then climb down in. Four, get out of there. And this is for Alex. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no one else votes, because this is Alex doing the exploring. Sorry, Mark. Birdmancer, do I go spirit or gods? Neither, stop being lazy. <laughs> I, I could just see that conversation happening over bird, um, over, over bird, uh, you know, bird message.
Okay, one. Climb right in. Minus mood, minus sword, minus population. We found bone fragments of a ram god, which are valuable metal known as bronze. Wind spirits loyal to the storm god swirled around the bronze, attacking the explorers when they drew near. Arini escaped unharmed, but three of the explorers were killed. Someone else, a ram, ram clan, no doubt, would lay claim to that bronze. Minus mood. Long simmering complaints against one of your circle members have come to a head. People of all stations object to Torvisha's frequent resort to the legal system to resolve disputes with other members of the clan. No matter how many times the elders rule that her property rights have not been violated, she continues to waste time they need for their other duties, having them adjudicate Picayune complaints. The chieftain and circle meet without Torvisha to discuss what to do. This is Torvisha here. Uh, good bargaining, good food. Uh, pretty, pretty decent. Uh, one, ask Torvisha to refrain from further requests for judgment. Two, hold a contest for the best song poking fun at excessive lawsuits. Three, place limits on the number of adjudications any person may request. Four, remove Torvisha from the council. Five, take no action. Let's see what everyone wants. Uh, when higher law captured the law beast, he put it on leash so it would serve without biting. She can't. Oh, whoops. She can't vote. Unlike the hell hidebound wheels, we can alter our laws when needed. If we removed every fool from the council, only Belindry and I would remain. Uh, surely people can tell the difference between Torvisha's personal actions and those of the council. Usually higher laws, war laws work well. Surely there must be a way to deal with this. As a member of the council, Torvisha must pay double when a penalty is leveled against her. This is why she won't relent. Let's see what everyone wants to do. Sacrifice the current Birdmancer. Hmm. Interesting. It wasn't worth our magic. For bronze? Really? As bronze workers? Are you sure, Courier? It sounds like it was worth it. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twos. One, two, threes. One, it looks like twos are going to win. Hold a contest for the best song, poking fun at excessive lawsuits. Plus mood. Leray had an endless store of hilarious songs. People laughed the most at the one where the judges awarded the horse's dung. Torvisha threatened and sputtered, which merely increased our mirth. She turned red and slunk away. Now she would surely mend her ways. Okay, we were raided by the Sunbow. Uh, time to bring in the harvest and prepare for the cold. Don't forget, guys, now is a terrible time to raid. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Go, go, go. Okay, we've got uh, an explore. We've got a magic. We've got some trade. Got two war, got one diplomacy, got another magic, got another trade. Looks like the trade's winning with three, with four. Eight wounded swords. We do have eight wounded swords. One actually, so Ethan changed from war to magic. Still the uh, still the trade winning. Oh yeah, they 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 are absent. Um, I can't remember what they're doing. Uh, so we're trading. Do we have enough food? Uh, should do, I think. Just about. So, trading. Oh, we also have the bowl of healing, healing smoke. Aids in curing the sick. So, caravan. Uh, so, we've got a trade route with the lower reach. The, or, I'll, I'll go with the ones close to us so you can make your decision, uh, ATL. So, the Orvish, or VC? I don't see them here. Where are the Orvish? They're not here. Okay, I don't know who they are then. 
the fire flower we tried to trade with they rejected uh the jade cult uh, they mock us, they owe us a favour. The Arrow Stone, we just raided, but they hate us. Uh, yeah. The Von Rash, uh, we owe them a favour. The Arterima are the Hawks. Uh, I, think they, I think they like us a little bit. A any, any of those appeal? I could check out some of the others up here, but they're like over the river and, and further away. Or VC for for Fort help, please. I don't see the or VC here. For whatever reason, they're not an option. Doesn't Parastack like us? Parastack? Oh, they're chief? Um I think so. Let's look at Jade, Jade Colt. Uh they mock us. They owe us a favour, they don't sell slaves. Known for erratic chieftains. <coughs> We did raid the Jade Cult. Fine. R? Okay. Arterima. Do you want to establish a route, I'm guessing? You could buy food if you're worried about the food. Thought we went for Aristone. Uh, you did try and tra get a trade route with Aristone. They said no. Buy food? Okay. Buy food. Uh, God Captain Dizzy, 0 to 12 swords, uh, 0 to 30 bows. Uh, how big would you like the trade, uh, the, the convoy to be? Small, medium, large. You can also sell goods, uh, also sell herds, if you like. Sell some goods, okay, sell goods. And medium, we do as little business as possible. Okay. Ten swords, twenty bows. All right. Anything else, ATL, before we go and do this? Wow, two misspellings in one sentence. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, bring herds in case. So sell herds, sell... Okay, yeah. Alright. Aristone was, we don't need you. Yeah, I like to see say that with a sword in them. Okay, send! <clears throat> While out watching the flocks, your young herders spotted a glowing object. Your most learned elders examine it and aren't quite sure what to make of it. It might be a lock of hair from a godlet or perhaps the tear of a goddess. It's divine, but you can't identify any specific magical properties. So your magicians say the best thing to do is sacrifice it. One, help your cro cattle. Two, help your crops. Three, help your goats. Four, help your horses. I don't feel like you guys need to help with this one. Uh, in terms of advisors, but I'll go through it. Oh, Lorraine is off doing things, yeah. Uh, looks like most people want to go with crops. Urkel wants to help the birds, but obviously that's not going to happen. The birds get more than enough help. Okay, help your crops. It makes sense, guys. It really does. Uh, when Kosialor laid the object in the sacrificial fire, instantly the flames flared up with billows of smoke that smelled like fresh baked bread, consuming our gift. You don't. You didn't have to be a priestess to know that Pella would be blessing our grain. Kosialor said her bounty would last about a year. Arani's party is back from the west. 
Ooh, I am pleased plus mood. Uh, I am pleased that we can we now can expect to produce as much food over the coming year as we will eat. It depends on the weather, but I believe our food supply is on much better footing now. Our caravan is back from our Tarame. Uh, the R. Tarima traders were pleased to receive our first caravan to them. We traded 41 cattle and 40 cows worth of good for one season's worth of food. Although the R. Tarima trader remarked on the inferior quality of our trade goods, he was certainly willing to accept them. So we've got four seasons worth of stockpiled of food. We also have many, col many colts and a crop bounty. We do have limited pastures, but um, what are you going to do? They insult us twice. Now to eat four seasons in one day. Hmm. So, uh, one for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, uh, five for wealth. It is the late earth season, time to harvest, so war would be a bad idea unless you want to train or build. Raiding is a bad idea, basically. And, of course, everyone goes for war. I wonder if they're going for raiding. Which makes pastures? Uh, you'll have to wait till next year to make the pastures. Also, you may not have got the message, uh, d sexy dwarf raider, but um, we're, we're farmers now and not herders, so... I want to make them now. Okay, war. Uh, one for recruitment, two for building, three for raiding. When did I become a dwarf? You were the raid leader of the dwarfs last time. But I'm no dwarf. Wait, are you not four foot one? Okay, so we got five, uh, six builds. Build, okay, this will be God Captain Dizzy. God Captain Dizzy, what would you like to build? You have 63 goods. So, you can build a state perimeter, a rampart, or a ditch. 25 goods for the ditch, 50 goods for the rampart, 40 goods for the stake perimeter. State perimeter. Okay. Already reeling from a <clears throat> devastating attack by thunder lizards. Jesus. The gold milks now expect an imminent strike from the Yellow Hill clan, who they are feuding with. They sent emissaries to you, offering to pay you to send four of your elite warriors to their lands to help defend them against the coming assault. They know the reputation your ancestors had among the first clan. They will pay 20 cows if your swords fight in their next battle, and 5 if they wait for a season and no raid comes. 1 agree, 2 decline, 3 decline but offer them a war blessing, 4 decline and tell the Yellow Hills about it. Let's just have a look here, who's this? So the Gold Milks, they, uh, we owe them a favour, known for their fondness of exploring, and the Yellow Hill clan... Uh, known for hunting, for their hunting prowess, they owe they us a favour. See what everyone says as well. Both name forgotten, relied on mercenaries, the latter did so wisely. Warriors will be able to find marriage partners among the gold milks. If we're getting paid, we're not really taking sides. Boldness of their chieftain, they will fight well in a tight spot. Ancestors were best warriors from the first clan. Ancestors were the best warriors from the first clan. 20 cows is a fair price for the service they ask. Threes. Decline but offer them a war blessing. Really? I see Courier didn't go about that. Our Burbomancer is, is always going with different from everyone else. Three means we can blame it on the Birdmancer. I mean, that's true. Okay, Birdmancer, decline, but offer them a war blessing. Courier, 
How many goods and how many herds? 0 to 23 goods, 0 to 35 herds. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh. Uh, twenty herds, ten goods. Okay. 20, uh, 20 hertz, 10 goods. <laughs> hey, don't question the Birdmancer, okay? Plus mood, minus herds, minus goods. Our priests spun with their weapons in our shrine to El Mal, fighting their way to El Mal's side. He said he would help the gold milks against the yellow hills. Done. There we go. Ah, no problem. Nah, cut in half. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, that's what I was told, so I, I went with it. Um, so, it is the dark season. Winters are harsh, a time of snow and cold. One for magic, two for explore, three for relations. Sorry, not really. Well, yeah, I guess relations. Uh, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for uh, tr trade. Train time. Choo-choo. We have also have five seasons worth of food. Looks like we want to go with magic. We have all the goats. All the goats, I tell you. All the goats. Uh, okay, magic. We don't have many goods. Uh, magic time. Burbmancer, courier. What would you like to do? Wait, how much are we? Eight cows and 16 goods to the gods each year? Damn. Goods or trading would be good. I mean, like, to give you an idea of some of the stuff you can do as well, you don't really need the food, but you could do, like, theft. Uh, and you could, like, ritual? Okay. Wait, do we have any of these rituals unlocked? I don't think we do. Oh! Help us in battle? Oh, damn. We do actually have a ritual that technically we can do, but okay. Uh, yeah, like, you could do theft, and you could try and steal from, like, uh, like, it, it, like the, the ones who pissed you guys off, like, the Orvisi, uh, the Fireflower, the Arterima, like, any of those you can, uh, theft, steal from the Sunflowers. Wait, who are the Sunflowers? You mean the Sun, the Sun Bow? The, the ones who raided us? Yeah, Okay. Uh, Raven, bargain. Would you like to offer a magic? We have three magic for the year. Uh, or you could try and persuade, which I assume... Yes, magic. Bargain! Raven said she was the best thief and would be happy to help. Steal from which clan? Uh, you wanted to steal from the Sunbows. Known for their poverty. Their chief is Dostalcon. They hate us, they sell slaves, but don't keep them. Would you like me to steal from them? I asked just purely because they're known for poverty. Okay, who would you like to steal from? Someone who doesn't like us? The Arrowstone. They hate us. Black Spear, the Fire Flower, they owe us a favor. Aggressive Pursuit of Trade, the Gold Milks are the ones that we've been helping. Fire Flower, they insult us. They owe us a favor. Okay, Fire Flower. Oh wait, no, that wasn't that wasn't Korea. The Griffins, okay, Griffins, known for their wealth, makes sense. Wow, okay. Courier. 
Plus four magic. Raven stole some of the Griffin clan's luck. The Griffins never realized what happened. Oh shit, we just stole a shit ton of magic from them. <laughs> the Yellow Hill attack the Gold Milks feared failed. The Gold Milks credit, credit our war blessing for for evening, evening otherwise dire odds and thank us for our aid. Woo, we rock, guys. So, we in we are in late dark season. Winters are harsh, a time of snow and cold. One for magic, two for explore, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Wow, the Burbmancer really does do a good job. Although I was the one who suggested the stealing. Just going to put that out there. Arrowstone needs to lose magic one. <laughs> Man, that Raven Spirit's pretty good, isn't he? Change my colour so no more mistakes. Oh, thank you, ATL. Yeah, sorry, I, 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 I did notice uh, before. I'm... War, okay, where are we going with this, guys? One for recruit, two for f fortifications, three for raid... You want to recruit? Okay. Don't know what Urkel wants to do. Oh, that must have been vote for war. Okay. Uh, so recruit, huh? All right. From twenty-two to twenty-five. So it's what, uh, 20, what were we on? 22. So one, two, three, four. So one to four. And where do you want to uh, recruit them from? To, uh, did Dizzy say they were going to be away? I don't know. Uh... Okay, I thought so. So, uh, let's leave it to Troya. So, Troya. Me, I'll do it. I want power again. Guys, do you want to vote Lanny into God Captain? We, ha we, have, a, we have a volunteer as tribute. No. <laughs> Everyone's like, nope. Would anyone like to be guard captain? Oh shit! Interesting. You know what? I'm gonna allow it. Yep. Sorry guys. Lanny is now the guard captain. Because Dizzy stepped down. If you want, you can... If you want, you can dispossess Lanny. I'll, I'll need a lot of people saying yes, but uh, for now. Lanny, how many swords? One to four. And where do you want to hire them from? Four. Where would you like to hire them from? Promising riders outside the clan offer additional gifts worth one cow. Instantly, you don't have many outside the clan. Okay. Four warriors. Damn, good start for Lanny. Jesus. Minus mood. A legal dispute between two of your families has been settled, but rancor continues. Cherokem brought a case against Veris for grazing herds on land allocated to his family. As tradition demands, they took their case before three clan elders, who ruled in favour of Cherokem. Two appeals, first to other elders, then the chieftain, affirmed this ruling. Even so, Varys' family, the Turents, continue to complain and argue. Other families now say that their bickering sows discord through the entire clan. Uh, I have ruled on this matter and it is settled. Send your stock to graze on lands. Uh, this is a settled case, not worth more fuss. 
Seven families made up the first clan. At first it was eight, but higher law fixed it to prevent deadlocks. When in doubt, give people something to shoot at. Contention exists between the spirits as well. My family was wronged. Feasts are wasteful. Okay. Uh, so guys, one, give the losing family a gift from the clan reserve. Two, have Belindre prevail on the involved elders for calm. Three, keep the clan circle out of this. Four, stage an archery contest for the entire clan. Five, throw a feast for the entire clan. So we've got a three, we got a five, got a five, got a four, got a two, got a four. So we've got uh, fives, twos, fours. Stage an archery contest? Okay. A lot of fives, throw a feast, of course. Ah, this isn't the dwarves anymore, people. We're bird people now. Wait, are we actually just birds, by the way? <laughs> um, so, so far... It looks like the archery contest is going to win with four, four fours. We have two fives and a two and a three, it looks like. Yeah, okay. We are doing an archery contest for the entire clan. How big of a prize do you offer from the clan reserve? Huh, who would that... This would be the... AT, this would be ATL. The emissary. One to five goods, mate. That's all we have. We have fuck all goods. Are there any commander seats available for me? Or is it only subs? It's kind of like a three? Okay, three. It's kind of like a voted in thing. There aren't any seats for the council commander-y types. Half. Okay. Plus mood. The distraction restored a measure of cheer to the clan. Ah, oh, well done. According to the Aristone clan, we have little influence in the spirit world because we don't have many sworn spirits. We must prove them wrong by sending an expedition to bring back another. Thank you, Ayoga. Oh, okay. So, everyone. One for magic, two for exploration. Oh, sorry, it is the storm season. Weather is unpredictable as forces of life and darkness battle. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Two X. <laughs> the second the game is like, hey, these people say we can't explore. We're like, fuck it, explore. No one tells us what we can't do. The dwarfs died and were reincarnated as birds. That's terrifying. But okay. <laughs> uh, got a lot of twos. Explore. Oh, is the crater still there? Oh, and you got even got like a symbol. Of that that's so cool. Um, all right. So, uh, Alex, you're up. Would you like to capture horses? Requires higher laws, horse breaker, horse breaker blessing. I don't think we have that. So, would you like to explore? Would you like to forage for food? Or would you like to search for spirits? Spirit search to the crater. To the crater. Uh, do you mean like around the crater somewhere? Like not exactly on it or on it? I guess we could go on it. I don't know what that does is, is all I'll say. And it's quite a long trip. But sure. Okay. Uh, Alex, how many swords? 0 to 25. How many bows? 0 to 30. I think on it? Hey, are you a, are you a, a thing or... A thing. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Zero to twenty-five swords, zero to thirty bows. Eight swords, thirty bows? Yeah, that's pretty good. You don't want you want a lot of defense, but you don't want a lot of swords, because the swords are strong. Uh, some of the people, led by Angercon, say the clan should be doing more to survive in the changing world. Others point out that besides migrating to the valley only two years ago, you are actually doing a lot. Seeds take time to grow, and it may well be that it will fall to the 
to the children to ride to the next big possibility. One, do nothing hasty. Two, prepare to explore our new surroundings. Three, raid a neighbor's cows. Four, prepare to ride to, to the gods' war and perform a ritual. Five, prepare to found a city. Golden age was changeless, that's what made it ideal. Herds are adequate, so we shouldn't feel like we have to go on a raid for more. I think that the idea of a city is great, but it will take a lot more planning before we can involve a clan. Not a cow expert, but if we decide to raid, you should know that the Griffins are the weakest of our neighbours. Cities mean a lot of people living in one place. That sounds like a bad idea. Our ancestors delivered Rolandar's message. We'll get the opportunity to do something similar. I think the idea of a city is great, but it's going to take a lot more planning before we can, We should involve the clan. Fives! Wait, everyone's saying don't build... Don't found a city, and you guys are saying city? Really? Uh... Fucking alright. Five definitely wins. We are the council. So, we're going to prepare to found a city, apparently. Minus mood. People were eager at the thought of founding a new golden city, but soon ran into practical difficulties. A city would need trade, but we only had one trade route. A city would be a tempting target for raiders, but we were not the strongest clan. We had preserved bronze working, but lacked the secrets of brewing and making glass, and would be hard-pressed to call ourselves civilized. More, most importantly, we would need to awaken a city god since Nivera was far away in our ancestral homeland. People said that the Circle shouldn't have wasted the clan's time on a smoke dream. Maybe their grandchildren could found a city. Kosialor said the gods would give us a sign when it was time. Our spirit-searching mission to the west narrowly escaped an elf ambush. I thought it prudent to return before any spirit hunters were seriously hurt. Some said that it would be safer if we treated the elves better. I myself don't know that we have done anything to bother them. We haven't really, mate. He looks so sad. So, so sad. So, the exploration didn't get all the way there, guys. And we, we moved back. No one, no one died or anything, but... Uh... So it is late storm season. It is the last season in the year. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Let's do it again. So we've got quite a few for magic. I'll just switch over to magic now. Korea, get ready just in case we've got some magic going on. More magic. Of course, there's a war from the warmonger. Although you are guard captain now, Lanny. Technically, I get technically I guess sexy guard captain. Uh, who can we steal from now? I don't know. We'll have a look if we if we get war. Looks like it's going to be magic. How long are these houses taking? Uh, well, it's almost been a year. So, uh, courier, what rituals do I have? Uh, the advice one is available, what, available rituals? Uh, there is horse friend, prolongs the life of our horses. Not many. Got advice available, improves quality of advice. Milk blessing improves the yield of our goats. No, the actual rituals? Oh, okay. We have the uh, Elmal Path Guardian. The ritual can help us in battle in many ways, gain a treasure, or strengthen the quester. This is the only one we have currently. Anything to help with goods? What, in the rituals? Uh, gain a herd of horses. Okay. Help our foragers find food. Scout. Ritual can bless weddings. Improve crops. Gain cows, wealth, or a treasure. Improve relations. Gain wealth or a treasure. 
river crossing. Ritual can gain wealth, help in negotiating. We, uh, we don't have any of these other ones, though. Uh, Erisa... Uh, Ikana? Yeah. Ikana is the goddess of trade, communication, and conciliation. Uh, so you can get markets more profitable, trading, profit of trade missions, understanding, dealing with fre with foreigners. Silver Tongue helps our traders. Sacrifice to her. Sacrifice. Uh, mysteries. How many goods? How many herds? You have eight goods total and zero to 35 herds available. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Four goods, 15 herds. Ma, righty? Enabled, uh, it revealed the workings of her understanding blessing. Okay. Members of the Norden and Zarent families were making an offering when they spotted a baby in the basket, floating down the Black Eel River to the south of the clanlands. Everyone agrees that the boy must have been sent by the gods. Stop trying to put the baby back in the river, laddie. God damn. But, but both families claim they saw him first and should be the one to adopt him. Normally, a court of three elders is able to resolve disputes like this, but this case has supernatural overtones, so they bring it to the clan circle. Learned elders already performed a divination, but couldn't see the baby's fate in the stars. One, adopt him into Belindroy's family, which is the clan circle leader, basically, the chief, our chief. Uh, two, let the Nordons adopt him. Three, let the Zarents adopt him. Four, put the baby back in the river. <coughs> we got like three, four ones, five ones, six ones. What does the circle say? Our ancestors willing to adopt farmers they discovered. He will grow up to drive the chariot folk back to the north. If he's re really divine, we can toss him into the Black Eel without a basket and he'll do fine. Really doesn't look like any of the people we've met. Can see why the court didn't want to handle this case. Young Zarent mother just lost her baby. When Wind Spirit stole his breath, she would consider this boy as her own. But we've got quite a lot of ones. Oh, instantly, thanks Urkel and Dizzy for the Twitter love, the retweet, etc. Just, you know. Ones! The ones have it! Unless anyone wants to vote quickly, uh, got a lot of ones and a couple of fours because Lanny just wants to kill babies apparently. Okay, one it is. Adopt him into Belindry's family. If he's divine, he will survive. Plus mood, plus one population. Belindry adopted the baby, naming him Heladivus. Everyone agreed that this was a reasonable compromise. Uh, Tolia, Angacon, and In Inrana died of old age. Their families comforted each other on their sorrow. Yeah. I think we lost one council member. Yeah, we lost one. Uh, minus mood. We could not afford to make the proper sacrifices to Rolandar, and our shrine has fallen into disrepair. Currently, maintaining our shrines and temples take 8 cows and 16 cows worth of goods each year. Last year, 30 babies were born. We initi initiated 18 children as adults. The clan has 5 more people, 89 fewer heads of cattle, and 26 more horses than we did last sacred time. Our crafters produced 44 cows worth of goods. Our ma market made a profit of 15 cows worth of goods. Maintaining our shrines took eight cows and goods worth 16 cows. The seers said any children born this year would have great destinies. We are known for being the last clan to arrive in the thing. So, guys, give me an idea of what you would like. There we go. Uh... Out of all of these. Just just put in like the two or three most important for you guys. And then we'll figure it out from there. I'm getting the feeling like crafts is going to be a one. So I'll put one in there starting straight out. 
crafts war diplomacy fields crafts crafts and explore crafts diplo oh you know what i'll put two in crafts just because it looks like everyone wants uh crafts fields diplomacy field pasture war fields crafts war fields so i'm getting a lot of war i'm getting a lot of fields we've got a little bit of diplomacy there as well okay pasture and fields we haven't finished the pastures yet so technically there there are no pastures but yeah okay uh is there anything else exploration ritual harmony fields diplomacy so out of the things left we probably have like we can I, i'd say like three or four more even if you'd like Explo, ritual health harmony help me search please <laughs> alex is still trying to get those votes in you know ritual yeah you guys want some ritual okay we'll put one in ritual uh explore ground will be rich when we do make pastures don't be don't upset the bird monster explore okay looks like a few people wanting explore i'll put it in let's say uh we'll go with one more out of all of the those that still have a tick missing where would you like it just chuck in whichever one you prioritize the highest another war see you later cool cheers for hanging a war a harmony a health Diplomacy, wow, you guys. Ritual. Diplo. So we've got two for Diplo. Two for health. One for pastures. Diplo, two, three for Diplo. Health for war. So it's between Diplo and Health. I'm going to put it in Health because you guys already have a Diplo Diplomacy. Okay. Six Reserve Magic. It's always good to have Reserve Magic. I had the most disturbing dream. Not an ordinary dream, but a prophecy. Our land was ruled by dragons and dragon men, and men who had the tongues of dragons. And in the sky, even the clouds and sun were dragons. I don't know what to make of this. Maybe it has something to do with dragons, Atoren, you fucking peni. <laughs> oh, shit. And our, our, our clan number is 666. What the fuck? Oh, this is a terrible omen. Dragons are the ancestors of birds? This is a good omen. Praise burb Satan. I like dragons. They are like scaly burbs. Okay, our people are very healthy. Cool. Vacancy in the clan circle. Alright, so who died? Can't remember who that was. Vigilant against the wheels. Clan needs the best diplomat to sit on the circle. Yeah, we actually, I think we do need a diplomat, which would be a Rennie. A heroic bargaining, excellent diplomacy. I think. Oh, wait. Whoops. So. Best warrior belongs. A Rennie, a Rennie's already. Wait, a Rennie isn't already on there. Okay, yeah. We'll go with it already. One, only six families are on the circle. Nordon is missing. Let's do it. Uh, Jereno. He's a renowned combat. Okay. One for a Rennie, and we'll miss one of the families on the circle. Or two for Jereno, who's combat, not... Uh... But he is on the Nordon family, so that would have all of the, all of the families in the circle. Get rid of Cosialo. Jereno is old. He is old. Two. 
to... You guys want Jureno? Wait, do you guys want to get rid of Kosialor? He's got good magic, but then so does Jureno. He is Torrent, so you get them all one. So like that. It would make sense. Switch, switch cost to Jureno. Okay, okay. Wow, Council, good call. I didn't even see that. Okay. We need the help of the gods to ensure people are fed. We do have plenty of food for now, but that won't last if we don't take action. I don't think we will produce as much as we'll eat over the coming year. We could ask for Dostol's Shaw Shot blessing. First, we'll have to sacrifice for mysteries to learn it. Also, our shamans could bargain with the Heron Spirit for help with fishing. Minus mood, plus one sick, minus ten herds. Your chieftain... Oh god, what happened? Your chieftain... Belindry lies near death after contracting a debilitating ailment. The priestesses say they have not seen its like before. It's a sign of a darkening world, they say. They have already tried the usual healing rites, whirling in the woman's tent to seek Arissa's aid. If she recovers, if she recovers at all, it will take time. They will continue to pray and whirl for Belindry, but worry that it will not be enough. 1. Support the priestess's efforts with additional sacrifices. 2. Call on spirits for additional aid. 3. Ask every rider clan owing you a favour to augment your Erisa ritual. 4. Hope for the best. Fuck, it's the baby! The baby's killing us all! The 666! Ah, we knew it! Wow, you guys are going all out to save your chieftain. Maybe one of you could become chieftain if she dies. Ooh. And the magic smoke. She is a good chieftain. She's pretty good. Not amazing skills, though. Quite young. Two, it was the river baby. Okay, we are going for Ask Every Rider Clan, owing your favor to augment your Orissa ritual. But I like her. Who do you send to ask for aid? Should we send a Rennie? Seeing as she's got, like, excellent diplomacy and good bargaining. Uh, ATL. Oh, he's already said yes. <laughs> yes, we'll send a Rennie. Minus one mood. Only one clan, the Yellow Hills, agreed to help. A Rennie said resentment was running high in the valley these days. Our priestesses said perhaps we had burned bright enough to forestall... Belindry's death. Okay. Late sea season. Time to prepare and sow the fields. It is possible that you could... Uh, do we have any healing, Arissa? We don't have any healing. You'd have to sacrifice... Uh, you'd have to sacrifice for healing, for curing, and hope to get it, and then do it. So, 669. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, we need venture. Sorry, guys. Venture, venture, venture. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so, do, we haven't finished the houses, and we haven't cleared the pastures. Must have 25 cows worth of good. Do you guys just want to cl clear the pastures? We need 25 goods for the, uh, for the houses. Um, there are other things. Combat training. Ceremonies. Guard the herds, hunting, etc. But, uh... Could scour for bandits. Would you guys like to elect a chief? Just for general choices. Because th this is a kind of hard one to be like, Hey guys, which of these do you want? Because there's so fucking many of them. Uh, okay, okay, no, 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 no. I think, I think, I think a chief will work for this. Uh, so what I'm gonna say is, um, Courier, Alex, Lanny, Troyer, ATL, elect someone as chief. Just put someone down in your, uh, Mark is half asleep. So, Mark, instantly, Lanny, thank you. 
No chief for me. Okay, abstain. Troya, ATL. No, it can't be yourself. Commissar Varys. So we've got Mark, we've got Commissar. Sheepy for Chief. <laughs> uh, Karis. Okay. Okay, Karis. What would you like to do out of all of these options? Ceremony, clear pastures. Combat training, crafting, defense, entertain, feast. F finish houses, which you can't do, but fletchery, foraging. God, the herds, herding, hunting, clear the pastures. Yeah, it makes sense. I just, it, it's one of those things where there's so many options. We just need someone to, you know what? We won't call it, we won't call it chief. We'll call it, um... We'll call it, uh... Arbiter. So, we'll call it Arbiter, because Chief is, yeah. So... Clearing the forest was harder than Barsden expected. The worst was when two people were nearly crushed by falling tree. In all, four people were wounded, but after weeks of hard work, we had new pastures that our livestock could use. Barsden reckoned that we now had enough pastures big enough for our herds. Which is good, because it means the herds can grow and, and all that kind of stuff. One of the reasons we settled here was that the Black Hill River has not been tamed, and we couldn't take the entire clan across. But we also heard stories that the Ram people lived on the other side. And now I heard from a four drum traveller that the flyer fire flowers saw ram explorers crossing the edge of their land. We'll have to be wary of those brutal barbarians. The worshippers of the storm god are powerful now, but they won't always be. Oh. Visitors come from the Fireflower clan to console you on Belindry's continuing Ill illness. Their words of condolence soon slip into a veiled demand. When Belindry passes, and the time comes for your elders to settle on a su successor, they wish it to be known that you'll regret choosing anyone other than Hendar. Several marriages tie Hendar's family to that of the Fireflower Chieftain. One promised to do as they say. Two, we will consider Hendar, but it must look like our choice. Three, quietly refuse. Four, loudly refuse. Let the Arbiter also break ties. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Courier. People will scorn us if we're let caught letting outsiders dictate the succession. Higher law tells us each clan should go its own way. This is easier for strong clans than for weak ones. They are the strongest rider clan. Don't make threats lightly. Cannot stand for this. Every 10 cows we give them will increase the chance of their letting us off with a polite refusal. Every 10 cows we give them will increase... The okay. Three, I say. They will not influence us. Fours and threes. Kill them. Okay, so we've got uh, three threes and four fours currently. Currently, we're going to loudly refuse. They won't. They want cows for this. I changed to a four. Okay, so we've got uh, five fours. Looking like we're going to loudly refuse. Four. You don't insult the council and attempt to get away with it. Uh, that's another three. The sleepy mark speaks. Four to war. Loudly refuse. Alrighty. Plus one mood. Minus oh, minus one sick. The people overcame their fear of the fireflower reprisals to celebrate the uprightness of their leaders. The fireflowers said we would soon learn the price of open defiance. A few days later, Belindry recovered. The people rejoiced. So Blind drives back, guys, and also we pissed off the fireflowers for no reason. Yay! <laughs> Might be a good idea to fortify. You don't have the goods to fortify. You only have twenty-five goods, twenty-eight goods. 
Uh, so, it is the early fire season. Fair weather and ripening grain allows for raiding. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. There was reason they insulted us for. Okay, a lot of, lot of people wanting war. Or maybe they want to build defenses, which they can't afford. Or maybe they <laughs> maybe they want to recruit people, which I we have quite a few warriors. Okay, war it is. One for recruitment, two for fortifications, three for raiding. You bloodthirsty bird people. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Alex, dude, it's a raiding time, boys. We gotta piss off everyone in this here fucking valley. Uh, so, raid leader, Troya. Raid or herd raid? Raid. Full on raid. Who would you like to raid? Uh, the Arrowstone... They hate us. If you're talking about the Arrowstone. They also owe us a favour. Oh, the Fireflower? The Fireflower uh, owe us a favor. They have a reliance on raiding. Their chief is a Vardar. Self safe, don't keep them. They don't feel either way. Not good, not bad. Okay, Fireflower. Uh, 0 to 25 swords, 0 to 137 bows, and ATL, would you like to call on the alliance? All in? All in, okay. Yes. Alright, let's do this. The low Arishi sent 17 warriors. The fire flower patrols detected us and our 25 bows... And 137 swords. Uh, sorry, other way around. 25 swords. Yeah. Are facing 27 swords and 107 bows. We have 5 magic. I think we actually have 6 magic spare. Uh, Shaman. Burbmancer. Courier. How many ravens do you send? Kill them all, I vote. 4 magic. Karis, calm your shit. What is the battle standard? Uh, aids war leaders when enemies bring monsters to the battlefield. So, uh, Troya. Uh, plunder, kill as many as possible, or survival. Kill all. Okay. Would you like to use the battle standard? See you later, Mark. Have a nice sleep, dude. Cheers for hanging and, you know, being a sword. Okay. So, we have 36 swords to their 27, and 137 bows to their 107 bows. Uh, one, advance... Two charge, three maneuver, four parlay, five reserve one in seven fighters, six conduct a magic ritual, seven skirmish, eight intimidate the foe. Keep in mind that our skirmish won't be as effective uh, because we don't have the, the magic for that. Like our skirmishes aren't as good.
two, charge. As we prepared our charge, the Fireflower sent out a herald. Do you agree to parley? This is still the raid leader, not quite the emissary. So, Troya. No! One advance, two charge, three maneuver, four reserve, five conduct magic ritual, six skirmish, seven intimidate, two. The fireflowers were able to complete their magical preparations as we charged. The hooves of the fireflower horses began to spark as they pranced about, ready to attack. One conserve, two take risks, three decide the fate of disabled foes, four fight clever cleverly. Five, press the attack. Six, fight fiercely. Seven, withdraw. Guys, stop putting in numbers if you can't vote. I keep, I keep almost, I keep almost choosing what you guys, fight fiercely. Ooh. Norden, his combat is very good. Uh, Ot Otoren sees a, stop that, stop that. Uh, Atorian sees a force of fireflowers gathering for a sally against your lowerish allies. When the two forces meet, your allies will be outnumbered. Of all your key warriors, Otorian rides closest to them. What does he do? Troya. Charge to join the lower Rishi. Clang a warning bell. Disrupt the fireflower charge with a blaze of arrows. Rally your bows to head off the fireflowers. Call on Elmal to shine light in the fireflowers' eyes. Five. Minus one magic. Sunbeams shone down from the heaven to blind the foe. They stumbled in all directions. The Lower Irish clan took took punishing advantage of their helplessness. One, fight cautiously. Two, take risks. Three, press the attack. Four, berserk attack. Five, withdraw. Four berserk attack. All right. Holy fuck, they all died. They tried a risky false attack, which failed when one of their horses stumbled. It was soon over. It was a short, nasty battle. Our battle magic overwhelmed theirs. We drove the fireflowers from the battlefield and were able to plunder their lands. Our share of the plunder was 29 cows and 30 horses. We took three cows worth of loot. Due to their prompt healing, our auxiliaries saved five warriors from dying and patched up eight of the wounded. They lost 15 swords, 12 swords wounded, 40 bows, 67 bows wounded. We lost no swords, none wounded, no bows killed, four bows wounded. Jesus Christ. We just fucked them up. Wow. Raid Leader Troya. Damn. I can't even remember the name of that vaguely attractive Raid Leader that we had before. Minus 13 herds. Our cattle tenders reported that during our recent raid against the Fireflowers, the Jade Colts clan snuck into our pastures and stole 13 cows. Minus mood. What's happening? Is this snakes? Oh, lampreys. Lampreys, eel-like fish with rasping sucker mouths, fall from the sky into your village, terrifying the people. Once they land, they lie on the ground, gasping. Then your shamans realize what's happening. They're draining the life out of your sworn spirits. Already, they've eaten the heron spirit. People find the flopping creatures and club them to death, but the damage is already done. One, call on Elmal to erect a defense against lamprey rain. Two, call stork spirits to be on guard and eat lampreys they find in the sky. Three, conduct divination. Four, inspire the people to remain calm. You do only have one magic left.
So that's four, five, four twos. And three, four, five, six ones. Seven ones and a couple of fours. <coughs> so, we will call on Elmal. Burbomancer. How many goods? How many herds? We have 31 goods, 615 herds. Uh, 0 to 31 goods, 0 to 35 herds. Look at that kid being attacked by the eel. I think his I think his dad's actually like putting the eel on the kid and like ha 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 five goods twenty herds yeah it makes sense five twenty plus mood minus herds minus goods the priests gathered in our shrine to Elmal and galloped on smoke horses to Elmal's side he said he would erect a shield against this darkness manifestation. The lampreys, Elmal said, were part of the madness the Ram God had loosed on the world when he slew the sun. Do you, do you want me to check if we still have uh, Heron? We don't have the Heron anymore. I did figure I'd check. It's, it's interesting that both of our spirits were birds as well. Oh, two? You want to immediately go out looking for a new Heron? Need to find another burb. Uh, so, uh, it is the uh, late fire season. Fair weather and ripening grain allows raiding. Uh, one for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trading. We want to explore. Okay. I'm guessing you want to search for spirits as well. Spirits close to ally, so like, kind of, you can't go into unknown lands, so do you want to go like here? Like, uh, I'm assuming you don't want to be in them, but like, kind of like, just past. Uh, how many swords and how many bows would you like? 0 to 25 swords, 0 to 30 bows. That looks good. 625. Yeah, 625 sounds decent. <clears throat> Ayoga and her part. That's a woman? I'm so sorry. Uh, Ayoga and her party could not find a place to cross the Black Eel River. Thousands of eels swarmed and the horses wouldn't go near them. Alex, turn back. Draw on clan magic to disperse the eel. Make a small offering to the river. You, If you want to do... Uh, if you want to do two or three, you'll need uh, the go-ahead from the, the burp mancer. Hey, Dago. Three. Yes. Okay, three. A yoga threw a bracelet worth one cow into the river. Our wealth disappeared, but the river gave no sign of caring. Ayoga said that we had no ancient rituals dealing with the forces of water, so this was not a surprise. One turn back, two drawn clan magic. It is our last magic. Would you like to spend the last magic? Or would you like to turn back? The 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 Burbmancer's saying saying they ain't gonna give up the magic, so I think you may have to turn back. Not worth it? Turn back. Okay. It is early Earth season. Uh, it is a terrible time to raid. Uh, one for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war. We, it looks like we're going to try again. You might want to not cross the river. So, like, maybe somewhere up this way. 
over here, on the right side possibly. Mountains. Lots of twos. Okay, I will do this. How does that look to you? Uh, near AR spirits, 625. Good. Okay. Send them out again. Off you go. Stop waiting around here, Alex. Go explore. Find spirits. Uh, one of your young foragers found a strange object half buried in the earth while picking berries. Your priests and shamans say this clay mask must be a magical treasure of some kind. What do you want to do with it? One, keep it. Two, rebury it. Three, sacrifice it to your gods. Four, trade it away. A lot of sacrifices, a lot of keeping. Okay. Looks like we're going to keep it so far. Would anyone else in the council like their vote heard? I don't trust it. Sacrifice it to the gods. Okay, lots of ones. Alright, cool. We will keep it and see if it blesses our tribe. Plus mood, plus treasures. After further investigation, our shamans confirmed that the mask would help us succeed with rituals that dealt with spirits. Well, let's have a look at it, shall we? That's not where it is. Clay mask. Prehistoric mask that aids rituals drawing on the power of spirits. So, it is the late earth season. We're still harvesting. We're bringing in food. One, magic. Two, exploration. Three, diplomacy. Four, war. Five, trade. Got three for magic. Two for trade. Three for trade. Three for magic. Two for exploring. Four for trade. Five for trade. Six for trade. I'll take it over to the trade. Just give it a second in case anything changes. Another for magic. Uh, another for magic. So that's five magic. One, two, three, four, five magic. One, two, three, four, five, six trade. Currently we're still on trade. Would anyone else like to switch their vote or anything like that before we go? No, uh, uh, trade, trade's still winning. Nice try, Burb Monster. Trade. Okay. Uh, ATL. Of only five claws. Uh, ATL. Uh, who would you like to trade with? Have a look around. Uh, they hate us. The Black Spear. They owe us a favor. Fire Flower. They owe us a favor. Known for raiding. Uh, known for aggressive pursuit of trade. The Four Drum. Known for their fondness of exploring. We owe them a favor. Known for their wealth. We owe them a favor. They mock us. For drum, they're close and like trade. Yeah, that's true. And uh, you don't have to go over this river, which is always good. Uh, Griffins are rich, though. Uh, the four drum, known for their aggressive pursuit of trade, could be good. All right. So, establish route. Uh, what would you like to take with you? I'm assuming you want to establish route. Uh, that will be God Captain Lanny. 0 to 19 swords, 0 to 30 established. Okay, cool. 
Uh, zero to thirty bows. This is a trade uh, going like a reasonable distance. For drum, we heard you like to trade. What about with us? Uh, Ray B. Detroya. How many swords? How many bows? Same numbers. God, Captain Sleeping, I say we oust her. Three swords, 25 bows. Makes sense. Makes sense. Our caravan is back from the four drums. The four drum traders were pleased to receive our first caravan to them. They agreed to trade with us on a regular basis, and we made a profit from the trip. Okay. Got five seasons of food. We have 45 goods. We got some good trading going on. Uh, it is the dark season. Winters are harsh, a time of snow and cold. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Flip mode. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. What, what, uh. It looks like it's going to be magic, so Korea, think about what you want to do. Uh, sorry, Burbomancer. I'm just going to grab a little something to eat, because I'm, I'm a little hungry, and we've been going on a while. Ugh. So keep voting. Might be a little crunchy and rustly, just FYI, guys. Apologies, but uh, food is needed. Okay, uh, yeah. Magic definitely won. Uh, Courier, what would you like to go with? Raven. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Spirits. Raven. Oh, we can't. Currently, why not? Yeah, it's just still the rituals. I guess we've already used the raven too recently, so raven's not an option. Crackle. Got to go for a few minutes to pick up food. Okay, AT ATL. I'll probably just have Karis uh, do the diplomacy if you're not about. Sacrifice to Ek. Ekana. Okay, sacrifice. Uh, learn for mysteries, I'm guessing. Uh, how many goods, how many herds? You have 45 goods. Uh, well, 0 to 35 goods, 0 to 35 herds. Ten herds, twelve goods. Okay. We got the silver tongue blessing. Helps our traders and negotiators. Wow, shaman's doing well. We're back from searching the east. We were able to find a trout spirit. The shaman's the shaman say makes it easier to cross rivers. Okay, we've got a trout spirit. <laughs> we have a fish.
Are we just going to eat that thing? Because we're birds? Uh, you catch six members of the Jade Colt clan on your lands, trying to sneak away with nine of your young horses. They claim that they were returning the horses, which were taken by errant members of their clan. You see through this ruse. They carry woven charms of the dog people, allowing them to erase the brands that identify your stock. Unlike honourable raiders who take livestock by force of arms, these rustlers meant to steal your horses by stealth and deception. One, kill them. Two, let them go. Three, ransom them. Four, warn their clan against further offences. Five, spread word of their dishonour to other riders. Of course, Lanny goes for one. <laughs> From five to three. Okay. Uh, so, we've got uh, three, four threes, and... Three fives and two ones. Another five. Uh, looks like the fives are winning. One, two. No, no. One, two, three fives. One, two ones, threes, four, five, three. Uh, four threes. Okay. We're going for ransom them. Uh, bargaining. Heroic bargaining. Do we send Areni, who has heroic bargaining, or Lera Lere? So one for Areni, two for Lere. Three ones, three twos, three ones, three twos. The twos now win. Anyone else like to vote? Okay, we send Larry. Sorry, Bacon. Bit late there. Uh, this will be Troyer. Uh, zero to twenty-five swords. Zero to twenty bows. Five and fifteen. Okay. Plus 30 herds. They paid the expected amount. 30 cows to get their thieves back. Nice. Ah. Moo. Okay. One for magic. Oh, wait. It's uh, the dark season. Uh, one for magic. Two for exploration. Three for diplomacy. Four for war, five for trading. Oh, God, Captain Lanny's back, I see. Hey, Lanny.
two to one, two to one. Want to do magic for the for the river? You only pay attention half the time, and you wanted to be chief. Wow. Wow. Um, okay, so yeah, we've got quite a few two to ones. We've got quite a few ones as well. This is going to be magic. Uh, so that, w oh, yeah, here we are. Uh, so, uh, courier, what would you like to do? Check the trout first. Good choice. Swimming makes it easier to cross, cross rivers. So if you want to send, like, uh, exp exploration over the river and stuff, that would help. Or trading over the river, uh, raiding over the river, anything like that, really. Rebuild Rolandia Shrine. Okay. Makes sense. We've got We've got goods now. Uh, so, would you like advice, improving the quality of advice, or clan law? Also, you don't get promoted with the promise of, you know... It's like, hey, maybe I'd work harder if I had the, the promotion that I wanted. That, that's not how it works. You get promoted because of the work you do. Can like can or the only advice I need is a raven. Okay. Uh, so uh, one for magic. Uh, sorry, it is the early storm season, unpredictable weather. Uh, one for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Looks like we've got some for exploration. I think some people want more spirits. They're getting greedy. Greedy. Few people wanting war. Ghosts are delicious. They are delicious. I'm eating... Cake ghosts. Or something, I don't know. Okay. Four twos, three fours means we're exploring, unless anyone else wants to smack down a vote. Keep in mind, Alex, uh, if you want to go into these areas, you have to do the explore. But Alex, what would you like to do? I love how the only time people trust Alex is to give me more power. <laughs> Try the crater. You did, get, you did get chased away before you got to the crater last time. Uh, so... 9.30? Mm, okay. A little bit more than last time. Makes sense. Okay. We are being raided by the Fire Flowers. God, Captain Lanny, are you paying attention? <laughs> there are 114 riders in total. Luckily, our patrols saw them in time, and 16 swords and 94 of our bows met them. Jereno noted that the Fire Flower Chief was daring in battle. Uh... So, uh, courier, burpomancer, use my magic, use, okay, using one magic. God, Captain Lanny, what would you like to do? I may have to switch to Troya if Lanny, uh, drive them off, okay, drive them off. 
One advance, two charge, three maneuver, four parlay, five reserve, one in seven fighters, six conduct magic ritual, seven skirmish, eight intimidate the foe. They have more swords than us and a bit more bows than us. Intimidate the foe. The fly flowers attacked us with arrows, but our war cries made them flinch. Uh, one advance, two charge, three maneuver, four reserve one in seven fighters, five conduct magic ritual, six skirmish. Three maneuver. As the fly flowers moved some of their forces into a reserve, we shifted our lines. So they put some of their guys in reserve, I guess. One, fight cautiously. Two, berserk attack. Three, decide the fate of disabled foes. Four, take risks to win. Five, hold ground. Six, five, hold ground. Oof. They fought fiercely, forcing us to fall back in disarray. The battle began to swing their way. Jereno said that he thought he and the enemy war leader were well matched. One, cautiously. Two, berserk. Five, three, cleverly. Four, hold your ground. Five, fiercely. Six, flee. Two, Berserk attack. It was a short, nasty battle. We were so disorganized that we had to give way. The fireflowers made off with 25 cows and 6 horses. They took 20 cows worth of loot. It would have been worse without our fortifications. Using healing magic, our auxiliaries kept 4 warriors from dying and healed 5 of the wounded. We actually killed a lot of their people and didn't lose that many ourselves. Interesting. Hey, yeah, I mean, you know, they probably attacked with stronger magic and all that shit as well, so. Hmm, okay. Many wounded. We have 26 wounded, uh, four warriors wounded, a noble wounded. So, it is the last in this year, the last season. One for magic, two for exploration, three for diplomacy, four for war, five for trade. Magic. Oh, okay. You have no magic left for this year, by the way. Just FYI. Magic. Okay. You want to sacrifice to Orissa? Mysteries. One person is sick. 31 people are wounded. Uh, how many goods? How many herds? 0 to 19 goods. That's all the goods you have. Uh, 0 to 35 herds. You have 593 herds. 20 herds, no goods. Okay. We got the curing. Restores sick people to health. Hendar died of old age. Last year, 28 babies were born. We initiated 18 children as adults. The clan has 38 fewer people, 40 fewer head of cattle, and 14 fewer horses than we did last sacred term. Our crafters produced 30, 52 cows worth of goods. Our market made a profit of 23 cows worth of goods. Maintaining our shrines took 8 cows and goods worth 16 cows. The priestesses dreamed that the fields cried out for blood. They said that the Earth Goddess goddesses wanted us to raid this year. Can I... Weapon. Oh. 
give me a second. Apologies. Okay, let me just see. Okay, we can go back to the, the bird raiders. Cool. Uh, so... Uh, let's end it here for today, guys. Uh, thank you, people watching in uh, in on YouTube, and thank you for people watching on Twitch. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, Twitch people, we're gonna raid momentarily. Um, people on YouTube, uh, yeah, we'll we'll get stuff going next week on Thursday. Pro possibly it might be we might have to switch days for this. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, next time we play this, uh, keep an eye on Twitter and my Discord to see when we play this again. I'll let you guys know. I'll try and keep you up to date. Uh, we will play this again. We should continue the Bird Riders next time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the stream and everything. Uh, bye to YouTube.